Today we'll be ranking the new and returning Pokemon for the Teal Mask DLC competitively. Leave your thoughts down below and if you enjoy this content make sure you leave a like and sub. On my way to 400k I got my boy Envy with me here today. He's on his way to 75k, like less than 900 subs away. We play competitive Pokemon a lot and I'll also link the tier maker as well. Some people don't like to leave the list. I don't know why. I, I, I want to see what you guys have. You can link it as well if it actually lets you. So. Um, I made this and hopefully it has every single Pokemon. Shout out to Sarah before all the sprites though. I got them from there. So we're going to start off with Ogidogi, one of my favorites of the Pokemon uh, coming. So it is Poison and Fighting. It has 128 base attack MV, 115 defense, and an 80 base speed. What do you think about this Pokemon? I think it's really solid. Like, I mean, if you look at it defensively, it's not bad. I mean, speed wise, it's mediocre. Attack is really great. Overall, um, you know, I feel like it can uh, do pretty well as a, a Pokemon that can either set up or. Bro, like, I mean, if you every time you go for an attack, chance of badly poisoning. Yeah. And your hidden ability is like a guard dog, which is, you know, if you get intimidated, your attack increases, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can't be forced out or anything. Which is pretty cool. I mean, like, I mean, looking at its move pull, right? Dude gets drain punch, bulk up, close combat. We also see uh, high horsepower, which is cool for the Golden Go, Sneasler, mm -hmm. Toxapex coverage. You have knockoff as well. A Pokemon with knockoff, like, for instance, a Pokemon that might come in on this will be Great Tusk, right? Defensive Great Tusk shrugs it off, but I knock off your item and I badly poison you because of my Toxic Chain ability is pretty nice. On mm -hmm. top of that, you also have Elemental Punches and Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch, and even Psychic Fangs to break screens. I actually think this is like a, an A or B tier Pokemon. But based on just what's come, uh, at least from what's come, I don't know about like, specifically the metagame itself, but I think at minimum it's a B tier Pokemon. Like just, I can see it. I can see it. I mean, with transition, you can also get rid of its weaknesses and power itself up. Um, you know, you, good utility moves too, like taunt and stuff like that, is pretty nice. Um, the ability to actually just click toxic as well and just force poisons instead of having to rely on the chance of poison yeah. from the ability uh, could work as well. Uh, I like this mod a lot. Yeah, I, I would. I think, in my opinion, it's one of the higher uh, ranked of the um, the entire list. Three of those. Yeah, I think I think so too. I so I want to put B for now, tentatively B, but it might be a low tier A as we go forward. Yeah. We'll we'll definitely change it if we want. So I'm actually really excited about Monkey Dory, which is funny because out of the three, when everybody saw the uh, the typing of this mon and everything, and just saw it in general, they thought it'd be the worst. So it's Poison Psychic, which is pretty good typing. You have uh, Slow King, Galarian, and also Galarian Slow Bro. Uh, they're very very good. It has the hidden ability Frisk as well, which can be really good for draft. But I mean, Toxic Chain is just in general. I think Toxic Chain the is the perfect just, yeah, ability. Much yeah, Pokemon. superior. So good on this Pokemon. Yeah, literally um, superior, as well. Talk about it. Feel free to. I'm fine with it. Yeah, absolutely. So like, I, I don't know. Like looking at this Pokemon at first, like when I first saw it before, that I saw the stats and everything, like the information released, I was just like, ah, this might be one of the weaker ones. But actually, it's fast. Base 106 speed is pretty good. Enamor Speed Eye. Mm -hmm. Enamor Speed Eye. Yep. Strong special attack. Uh, so. You have, um, you know, access to like setup moves like nasty plot as well. Uh, parting shot, so you can even run like a choice like item and then parting shot out and, and or you or you turn them, exactly to poison yeah, them there. as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, gets focus yeah, blast like, as well. Coverage, so it actually has steals, coverage for steals um, yeah, as well. Yeah, unless you want to terrestrialize, but um, yeah, like this thing has. Uh, you can add nasty plot so you can break stall too. Ooh. Yeah, not being able to be poisoned Ooh. is really nice. I mean, a naturally resisting Iron Valiant stab, like obviously Shadow Ball is super effective, um, but and, and knock off as well. But like naturally resisting its stab is really nice. Like 130 special attack, 106 speed. This is a this is definitely a sleeper. I feel like people. Well, we all slept on it before it came out, right? But it being able to do all that and it has trick as well, so it can actually cripple the opponent as well and or scarf like you said with parting shot spam if it really wants to. Um, I, I like this. This is also like a, a high B in my opinion as well. Decently bulky on the SPDF side, like it's HP, 90, like 88, 90 yeah, 88, not 90 bad, is not bad. You know? It's defense is uh, definitely mediocre at 66 though. Yeah, not the best defense, but I mean, you'll be able to sponge a hit at least, like priority and wise and stuff like that, so. Would you put it above Ogie Dogie? I would. I personally would, just because it's uh, speed tier is really good, yeah. special attack is really good, uh, it, and setup opportunity is is pretty nice as well. And Ogie Dogi also uh, has to like competition with Sneasler. Now, obviously, Ogie Dogi can actually touch Golden Go without having to Terra, which is pretty cool. And I, I'm not saying like Night Slash and Shadow Claw aren't good, but you know they're weak. 
right? They're de definitely weak. Knockoff gets stronger if you knock off an item. Higher power gets stronger. So, like, I feel like they do have, definitely have a different niche. Again, we'll see yeah. if these guys end up going A or not. Now, Pheasantipity is uh, a draft god, but I don't think it'll be that amazing when it comes to OU. So, this thing stats, right? It, definitely the best typing out of the three. Poison Fairy, beautiful typing. Poison Fairy is really cool. Galarian Weezing is absolutely amazing. 99 base speed, that's okay. 125 special defense. When I saw this thing's move pool, I'm gonna talk about his move pool real quick before we get through the rest of the stats. When I saw its move pool, uh, we saw Moonblast, we saw Heat Wave, we saw Nasty Plot, we saw Calm Mind, uh, obviously Toxic as well, like cool options, Swords Dance as well. What's an option? It Taunt, Dazzling Gleam, Poison Jab, Air Slash. Like it has such a fantastic move pool. And then you see 70 special attack. Like, are you kidding me? 70 spe has technician as well as hidden ability. And it learns like moves like double kick and dual wing bead to be and and, and uh, like tail slap to be technician. And like, and don't get me wrong, tail slap with technician with the toxic chain ability or like if, if, if ignore technician. Like moves like beat up. What about beat up plus like, yeah, like toxic chain? Yeah, like moves basically that that procs the chances of toxic chain. It's even insane. More. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, That's really, really cool. Really and then you have like technician boosted acid spray and stuff like that. But like 70 special attack is nothing. 91 attack isn't the greatest. I definitely expect this to be more of like a, a U-turn toxic roost, because um, it does get roost type of Pokemon. Yes, yes, yes. To just, just be um, able utility to. Utility wise, it's really good. Like, but like, it has so much setup opportunity as well um, on the physical and special side with Sword Dance, Nasty Butt, and stuff like that. Where I feel like its mediocre-ish uh, offensive stats can be kind of taken advantage of with relatively easy setup due to bulk. I mean, I, I when I look at this Pokemon, I feel like. It's kind of like a like a scream tail in the sense of so much coverage and so much setup opportunity and whatever, but it um, it's not as strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's a C tier Pokemon. I like, can see it as a C tier, honestly, um, or like even like a low B tier because I, I just like that typing so much. Poison Fairy, you absorb T spikes. You're also being able to like poison everything. Yeah. I mean, I just don't. It's, I think it's going to be a solid draft mod, right? It's going to be very annoying to deal with in draft content. Yeah. And I'm sure in too. yeah, and I'm, I'm sure like in VGC as well, it'll have like it has icy one with technician, uh, acid spray. They, like it has options, heat wave. Like it has all the uh, tailwind as well. Like it has the options Ooh, for VGC. Poison, poison tail technician. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right, Arbok is next somehow. <laughs> it crept its way up to this part of the list. Well, yeah, so, on the topic of poison types, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna say right now, Arbok did get some buffs, but it's a D. It's a D tier Pokemon, right? It's a D tier Pokemon, but it did get some buffs. It has Coil. It has. Um, it obviously uh, still has like its Gunk Shot and stuff like that. It got Knock Off this generation and Scale Shot, which is pretty cool. So it did get some um, some decent buffs. Has access to Toxic Spike, but it's definitely a D tier pick. Like it's a it's a lower tier NUPU, most likely PUZU. Like I I, mean, I don't think there's anything you could do to defend this Pokemon, even with Terra, right? Like if I'm gonna use this, why would I use this over Santa Conda, for instance, right? Who has a better? No, I know you pointed at me being the one to defend Arbok. I would be the one to defend it, but in this case, I, I won't be the one to defend it. Um, I mean, I like Coil, and it does now get access to a Scale Shot and stuff, Knock Off and things like that, which is pretty nice. Uh, can can spit toxics and here and here and there. But, You're gonna need an antidote. Yeah. You're gonna need. An antidote. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, it's not the mon. It's not the mon. It's not the mon for right now. Honestly, nah. it's definitely lower tier. Maybe lower tiers. I think it'll be really good though. Yeah, like PU, ZU, sure. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's nothing wrong. I think people. Uh, when I say a mon's gonna be really good, that doesn't mean it has to be good in OU. Like it doesn't have to be good in OU. You'll to, still see me use it to know you though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, know. exactly, exactly. So, Ogre Pond. So we have, um, we're going to talk about the base form first. So this is the, the one with Defiant right here, the grass one. Uh, and then we'll talk about the fire, the water, and the um, the rock right here. So yep. we have Ogre Pond right here. And um, so it has Defiant as its ability, right? This is actually one of the few that can actually hold an item, right? The others have to hold a specific item in order, they have to hold the mask in order to be it. So 110, it's actually pretty tame for, for like a legendary. It's really tame actually. So 110 uh, speed, 120 attack. Not terrible, like not 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 incredible, but not terrible. It's actually, yeah. based, BST is 550, so it kind of reminds me of Urshifu in that regard. And then base 110 speed with uh, movesets like, um, it has spikes, so it has fast spikes. It learns U-turn, it learns swords dance, it has knockoff, as coverage, uh, which is pretty uh, cool. Taunt, exactly. Yeah, good utility, exactly. Low kick, 
uh, Sewer Power, Wood Hammer, Spiky Shield, Synthesis, Ivy Cudgel, and that move is basically, um, in this case, it'll be Grass, right? It'll be Grass, yeah. It, Depending on your uh, mask that you're holding, it changes typing. It's yes. 100, I think 100 power physical attack. 100 power, 100 accuracy. It's basically a better revelation yep. dance, which is pretty cool. And has Leech Seed as well. So, I mean, I definitely think you could see it as like a fast spiker. I think this one being able to hold items is cool as well. Like the others being locked into their Terra types is really interesting. I don't remember if this one's locked into Terra. It's specific Terra type. I don't think it wants to change Terra types either way. Um, right, right. I, I mean, depending on, on if you're running Swords Dance or something, you could technically do that if you wanted to. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm saying that I don't know if it actually can. I Like, I know oh, the others. The yeah, others yeah, are yeah. locked into their Terras. I don't know if the Grass one is specifically I because guess, it doesn't yeah. have an, uh, uh, a thing. Because I did see a screenshot of people not being able to change it. But please let us know down below. I, I love that. Obviously, we don't know everything. And the gen generation just, you know, this part of the generation just happened. But just, just came out, yeah. What do you think, man, about this mod? Interesting. I th I think they, they all, and we'll probably talk about like fast spikers and stuff, but it's definitely like one of the lowers of the three, in my opinion, like a middle of the three. Pure grass typing is interesting. Yeah, but I think the ability to hold items and like, you know, actually utilize different uh, movesets with different items is, it definitely um, has its advantages over the other ones where you have to actually hold a mask and, and you don't have the option to hold another item. Do you think it'll be... But like, like just fast spikes, you turn on core support, right? Like what's what's different? Like uh, like a cosplay as Miascarada, you know? Like what are you what are you doing there? Yeah, like you a turn Zerud spikes. maybe. Yeah, literally, um, literally with, with spikes. Kind of like yeah, like like a Zerud Miascarada kind of thing, but no dark typing. Yeah, um, I don't know. Like I, I think the real benefit comes from the other masks. Like for this one in particular, it's probably not anything too special from I, its moveset i don't really see anything that's crazy out right it gets horn yeah, leech as well which is pretty cool I, I put it over pheasantipity though just because its utility it has way more utility in ou in my opinion than pheasantipity oh my gosh not adobe creative cloud because it has uh more uh it has more utility in my opinion just fast spikes and u-turns always good but i also think it faces competition from yasquarada yeah oh regard. it can it can however uh do the fling big nugget strategy thank you envy for that it does have knockoff though but would you agree with above pheasantipity uh, yeah, I can see it. Okay, it's so above the cool ones now. All right, so let's talk about the fire one. So this one is grass and fire. It is basically, um, it, it it's basically like a skull villain, which is cool to have two mm -hmm. grass. Has mold breaker here. ability too. Has mold breaker, so that's really big as well because um, it can actually break through like unaware and stuff, which is cool because you have your like if your swords dance for instance, and you go for your. Uh, your physical attack, it could be wood hammer, it could be power whip, rather you do get power whip. Like you can break through a Dondoza because your plus two will matter. Like you can actually knock it out. Yep. Um, is a decent Pokemon on Sun as well because when you terrestrialize this Pokemon specifically, it uh, gets the uh, embody aspect, uh, embody aspect three. And embody aspect three, what it does is, I believe it raises your attack. So uh, mm. this one gets an attack raise and it'd be pretty cool in Sun as well because you get that and you get the, you can use Solar Blade as well. has access to Knock Off as well. Same move pool as the other one, right? It's just that its IV Cudgel is actually a fire type attack. 100% accuracy, 100% can't miss. Um, 100 it's power. Action, just like Skull Villain. Yeah, but I mean, it gets Knock Off, which I think is slightly oh, no, better. Okay, and, yeah. and Sewer Power as well. Like, I feel like Knock Off and Sewer Power are just better in general. You don't yeah. need Stomping Tantrum. It's like Heatran or something, you know, if you wanted to destroy that mod. Yeah. Exactly. I think it's a strong and the U turn. I, I think it's cool. Obviously, the biggest drawback is no heavy duty boots. No heavy duty boots. You're forced to hold a mask. Um, so you'll be taking 25 from rocks. Yeah, that's big. I do think, though, from content wise, this is one of the ones I want to use the most. It looks cool. It definitely does. Um, and I could definitely see some some nice sets with it. So all of the Ogre, uh, Ogre Pond forms, they all have, like, they all can learn only the same moves, right? But the yeah. only difference is, like, the. Um, mask typing in the cudgel. Think, yeah, right. So would you? Yeah. I would. I would hella. Yeah, yeah. I would hella rank this one above grass, right? I put it above grass for sure. Yeah, because I, I think the fire typing is really really cool for this mod. Um, just coverage wise, it's it's nice. Mold breaker is such a good ability as well. Yeah, I agree. Do you think uh, high C, low B? I would... put this one high C. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't put it above. I, I wouldn't put it with these guys, right? I feel like it's. No, better. I think I these guys so. are better. Like if yeah. I had to say anything. All right, so the water one is pretty cool because it does have water absorb. Um, so being grass and water is absolutely, it's good typing. It's very good typing. 
Like just because uh, just because your resistances and stuff like that, just being able to take on the attacks, being neutral yep. to fire is always nice as well. Um, neutral to ground, uh, makes you resist ground and things like that. So obviously Ivy Cudgel, 100, 100 is really nice. You still have your power up, you still have your swords in. They're all the same movesets, right guys? Not, those are not gonna change when it comes to it. Your Ivy Cudgel just changes uh, in that regard. But I, I do like the Water Absorb. I, I really like the Water Absorb. And obviously when you uh, Terra with it, you actually get, uh, I believe this one is Special Defense, but it could be Defense. Is this one Defense or Special Defense? I think defense? Special Defense. Uh, so, yeah, I think, yep, Special Defense, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this uh, one I is- I think the uh, other one, the Rock one is um, Speed, I think? Or I think rock. No, which one is speed? I think speed is the the gr the grass one. Speed? Grass the one is speed. Gra I think okay, grass yeah, is speed. Grass is speed. Um, like speed boost is cool, but that's that's only cool for fast fast spikes. That's like using a booster energy month. That's why I thought it'd be like. Yeah. And I don't want to Terra just to get up spikes. Yeah. Now I will Terra to keep my spikes up. I'll Terra into a ghost type. You know, not with this mom, but like in general, to to keep my spikes up. But um, I won't Terra just to. You know, just to have like, spikes itself. But anyway, water, I water grass is cool. Really cool. I mean, it's like it's such a good typing. I mean, you think of you think of Ludicolo, but you think of a better Ludicolo, like it's a just, physical, like a physical, more physical, physical variant attacking. that actually threatens things, like with, because of its strong move pull, strong attack investment, and everything like that. In terms of Terra, I don't know if it maybe it might let it set up and sort of that, but I definitely think the the water is probably better than the fire. Mm -hmm. Definitely better than the grass. They're all better than the grass, in my opinion. But I think it's better than the uh, the fire one. I, I think, think it's better than the fire one. I would put it at a uh, low B, definitely below. Um, Ogie Dogi. Ogie Dogi, yes. Yeah, I I think it's below Ogie Dogi as well. Um, and honestly, I wouldn't even mind high C, low B. This might change in itself. It might I change. Yeah. I know you're high on the rock one. I know you like this. I'm, one. The, I'm, the rock one only yeah, has sturdy. Like, it has sturdy, which cool as a as a lead as a lead with that 110 base speed. That's not bad. Lead uh, guaranteed nice, spikes, like, yeah, like a spikes lead or something, or some kind of uh, a hazard lead. But I'm also thinking of like, just because of the fact that you hack, you actually have a really strong rock type attack, physical rock type attack, no drawbacks, no potential to miss or anything like that, and it's coming off of a, a really strong base attack, potential swords dance behind it, like grass rock is like strong, I mean, yeah, strong of, offensive when you have like when you have suit when you have, you have, you have super yeah 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 you think of cradley but it's like you know cradley is slow and it's like you need to it doesn't it's not that strong you need to set up and yeah but like just having a fast offensive rock type pokemon that can just spam attack it's nice you know, to have a fast you. rock i mean you remember aerodactyl and advanced metagame and things like that like that mon is it's not it was good back there because it was fast and it could spam rock moves so like being able to actually be able to do that, you can set up Swords Ants, so you can Horn Leech as well, get yourself back to Sturdy, Knock. I mean, if you look at the OU metagame, Rock, Grass, Dark hits the entire metagame, right? For the most yes. part, for neutral damage. Um, and then you can have the, you know, toss and sewer power there if you really want to. I, I like this one. I like this one. I rate it next to Water. Like, I think they're, I think, I think Water and Rock are similar. In terms of that, I, I do think fire, we might be rating too low in that regard, but just being weak to stealth rock makes a big difference. Being weak to stealth rock, you can't hold heavy duty boots. I think it just, um, I don't know, like, you, and you can't get any power increase from other hell items. Um, yeah. So that's why I think it's lower, but I think, yeah, the rock one definitely is. I don't know. I think, it, first of all, I think it looks the coolest. I think the mask. Yeah, I like, I, the mask definitely looks the coolest. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. Curious, and I, I like it a lot. You, sir, are absolutely correct when it comes to that Pokemon. I'll put it at, yeah. uh, I'll put it at B. I put them both at B. I think they're both like right here. I think Rock has a lot of potential early. I think there's a lot of Mons that can rock, rock. No, no, no offense to Rock, like no yeah. pun intended. But um, I think as a lead, it actually has a niche, like specifically because of sturdy. So I think it has more of a niche than than the others. Oh no, my headphone part of my headphone broke off. No, oh, no. it's okay. That I headphone. Can't hear. No, no, I can hear you. But the other, the other one was it's been broken. But now, now I don't have to mistakenly pick it up thinking it's the right one. I guess that works in my favor. All right, so the mask, the mask has been broken. The mask is off. <laughs> Alolan Sand Slash. Now it has spikes. It has it has Ice Go Spear with loaded dice, right? It has Iron Head. It has Knock Off. It has basically all its moves. It's all its mm -hmm. moves. Spikes, Stealth Rock. Um, I I still don't think it's that much of an ice threat. Like you can tear ice and use a loaded dice and everything, but. I don't think so it's like, that much of a Yeah, with this mod, like, some of the cool things to consider is that now you have Chilly Reception that can, you know, from from Galarian Slowking, um, that can be utilized to activate its Slush Rush ability and 
turn it into a, a nice a nice threat. Um, I, do, I do think translation is what's going to make this Pokemon a lot more better. dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, a lot better. Um, as opposed to just having this Mon by itself as a standalone. But, um, you know, having uh, knockoff, Icicle Spear, all that kind of stuff is, is pretty nice um, for this Mon. And... I mean, just no Belly Drum versus Titan plus the Snow Buff. Snow Buff is really good, by the way, for it. But Belly Drum plus Snow, Snow Buff, like, still NU. NU, NUBL, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, by, by no means, I, I don't think we're putting this anywhere above... Uh, low C right yeah, yeah I put it as low C I think it's definitely above D tier Arbok um for sure yeah just just your niche just being able to set up hazards like more yeah, hazards hazard niche is really good um and it's I mean it's relatively strong and it can utilize a, a solid ability in that no I but, agree yeah nowhere near the top nowhere um speaking of nowhere near the top uh so regular sand slash also has spikes as well and stealth rock but that's basically it regular sand slash is regular sand slash rapid spin I think this maybe goes above Arbok like this. Like yeah, that. No, I do this I just because Slush Rush versus Slush Rush versus Sand Rush is so different, right? So we do have obviously viable Sand Setters, especially because Tarantar did get knockoff this year, uh, this time, which is amazing for Tarantar. But like, yeah. I'm not gonna pair my T Tar with my Sand Slasher, right? If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use Houndstone because it got Poltergeist now, or you can yeah. use Last Respect if you want to. I think Sand Slash is a D tier, lower tier pick, and also Ice is a little bit easier to use because not only do we have Alola Nine Tails. Um, but and, and you know obviously you know Obama's or whatever, but we also have chili reception. So like yeah, ice, ice with coverage is like a very good anti-meta type. Yeah, uh, anti-meta kind of Pokemon. You know, it's like you can get a wide variety of stuff. Whereas just regular ground is, yep. you know, it's a uh, little a uh, little less valuable in terms of other stuff we have. Yep. All right. So Clefable. Everybody's been hyped for Clefable. Now keep in mind, uh, obviously it doesn't have softball, it doesn't moonlight though, and it does still have wish as well. So it does have the recovery of wish, uh, keeps knockoff as well, moonblast. You know, it's Clef. At the end of the day, it's Clef and Clef can Terra. I think a lot of people, I don't know how good it's gonna be, and I know it's Clef, and it always finds a way, no matter what, right? It always does. But man, when I see King Gambit, when I see Golden Go, when I see Terra Shadow Balls that always two a KO type of thing. Obviously, Clef can Terra as well, but you're already a fairy type. Like, fairy types want to become water types. Water types want to become fairy types. There's not a lot of other in-between that they end up wanting to become. It's it's one of the greatest Pokemon of all time, somehow, if it's trash stats, right? Not trash, because it's just enough. It's always been just enough. And always been just enough, yeah. I don't know if this is going to be the same. So, yeah, there are a few things to consider, right? First thing to consider is everything power level-wise has increased mm -hmm. from the last time, right? So, Clef... While it was just barely able to hold on to like literally everything before, it can't. Not as much power. Right? Power. Yeah. Like like Spadef gets to a kill by Terra Go Shadow Ball, right? Yep. And that's and that's something it could take Shadow Balls from Dragon Ball always or barely, right? Remember in Generation Six they ran like fifty six Spadef investment comps so that way they're not to a kill by Thunderbolt from Mega Manetric and mm -hmm. and like things like that after some damage and stuff like. Yeah, you're basically spreading it a lot thinner now. Um... I don't think it's gonna be bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just yeah, but yeah. Another thing to consider though is this Pokemon also can terrestrialize. So I mean, it de just depends on what you're using it for, right? So if you wanted to beat a certain Pokemon or a certain thing in in for your team, you could just terrestrialize into that type. But what are we tearing into, bro? Like, are we tearing it water because it's a fairy, right? Like again, the best defensive typings are usually water and fairy. Those are the ones you want, right? Yeah, so water. You, like you think like for example. Um, Hatterene when it combines up with Terra Water so yep. that it can avoid, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of like, yeah, you could do that. You could Terra, um, you could even Terra, like, Poison or something. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, as, as a way to, if you're, like, running it with Unaware, for example. Yeah, so for, like, Val and stuff like that, and Toxic. Yep. Uh, Prevent setup sweeping, well, it's also gonna get Valiant. Well, it doesn't learn Toxic, but... Yeah. It, it actually does not get access to Wish anymore. Um, healing Wish it does get though, but yeah, its only form of healing is through... No, it gets Wish. It gets Wish. Cleffa gets Wish as a, an egg move. Oh, Cleffa. I did not mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. lot. Uh, Cleffa gets Wish as an egg move. Yeah, Cleffa. they be they be tricking you like that, but it, it does get Wish. Cleffa gets Wish. Ah, okay. So, oh, but, well, so, so that's actually pretty nice. Like, Wish, like, as a Wish Mon, like... Yeah, well, heavy do, heavy do the boots and unaware, sure. You can definitely, like, that's, like, the role I feel like Clef would do it. Because, like, dude, if you run Spadef or Dragapult, Earthquake from, like, Defensive Great Tusk, just, like, 40%. Like, that's the... Yeah. I and mean, you're getting to a kill by Offensive. Shoot, Close Combat from Offensive Great Tusk if your Spadef does, like, 40%. So, like, there's just... There's so many, um... There's so many things this thing has to check for, and I just feel like it's gonna spread itself too thin. 
King Gambit's they, number one, right? Like, it's it's rough. Then again, if you use it as utility, you could just click knock off and switch and then, like, do a bunch yeah. of stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think Clef is going to always be great at that. Don't get me wrong. I think it's going to be great at that. And I'm sure Unaware is going to be another Mon that gets added to the star arsenal. But I, what I'm trying to say is I can't put it A tier. I cannot. No, I don't think it's A tier. I definitely think it's B tier, though, for yeah. what it can do. Um, this Mon is, is still good at what it does. It'll still run those same sets that you've seen before, just this time with the uh, translation. Um, like, so like you remember, yeah, you remember how the way Pokemon with Z-moves beat Clef was they would hit them with their regular move, then they hit them with their Z-move because it does so yes, much more. Yes, yes, now yes. imagine just being able to tear out the whole time. Like, man, let's take Manaphy, for instance, which we'll talk about a little bit later, which is yeah. back. Manaphy Surf, maybe it, if it's Fizz Def Clef, maybe it doesn't do a KO, right? If it's Unaware Fizz Def, it probably doesn't do a KO, but I just tear water. And I get, yeah, 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 I get my two times stab or I get my Z back in generation seven. So it's like, I feel like it's a B tier mom. Yeah, I think so. And I'm, I'm I'd, okay I'd with it, being um, one. I'd probably put it above the Ogres. Ogres, right? I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking right here. Yeah, perfect. There's just so many Pokemon that hit it for super effective damage, and Clef's Terra can't save it versus all of them. Because, like, let's say you tear a poison. Oh, yeah, now I'm weak to Earthquake. Also, Moonblast doesn't KO Great Tusk from full. Like, there's just so many things that, like, happen. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not as strong. I mean, I, I guess unless you're running Special Attack, Life Orb, and stuff. Do we have our first A-tier Pokemon? Dude, I feel like Veil is insanely stupid right now. I feel oh, yeah, with this Mon, for sure, for sure. I mean, we had a Bomb of Snow, but, like, this Mon is a little Nine Tails. We know all about this Pokemon. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, let's look at all the Pokemon that will benefit from... And this Mon is A-tier because of what it can do for other Pokemon, in my opinion. Right? Yeah. Uh, Backscalibur, which has loaded dice, which has Scale Shot now, and can run Scale Shot, Ice Go Spear, and also have the Veil and have the Ice-type defense boost. Right? Booster yep. Energy Spam, obviously, with Valiant and things like that. You have Manaphy, which just came back. Like, there's... I, I feel like this is an A tier Pokemon simply because of what it does, like what it's going to enable for it, like being able yeah, to enable veil. veil teams. Like uh, Veil teams are going to be so so good with this Pokemon, um, without having to run like dual screen Grimstone or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or even Chili Reception onto my back. So it's always good. That's always good yep. too. But like, I don't know, man. I feel like this is an A tier just because not it, guys. Again, just it it in, it promotes a, a, a specific style of play that's going to be very good. That's that's honestly my opinion. It promotes a specific style of play that's going to be extremely good. Yeah, no. As a Pokemon itself, like it's, it's still, um, it's it, still solid. Like it, it, it got buffed. It, it can, yeah, it did. It the did. Terra. Um, Terra and the uh, defense you know, boost. Defense boost. Yeah, uh, like Nine Tails is so bulky. It's actually so bulky now because it already had the hundred special defense and it has seventy six. You know, times one, like one point five, whatever that number is. So like, it's, it's so really. Um, Dude, yeah, good. and that defense boost helps, like, in the grand scheme of just, like, going for more veils more often, having the survivability. Um, yeah, I wanna, you know what, I'm gonna run a calc real quick on max HP nine tails, which is what, like, lead nine tails run. So, oh, you hail setter, you always ran. And, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, I mean, just to say, like, Pyroball from max attack ace has a 25% chance to KO. That's max attack Cinderace in the snow. That's crazy. Pyroball has a 25% chance to KO. It's less when you consider accuracy as well. So, like, it's uh, it's interesting. Like this is an A. I think this is an A Terramon because of what it does for the metagame. Not it specifically. It's definitely you know if Veil ends up getting banned because of this mon or whatever happens, or they end up banning a bunch of mons. Like imagine Volcarona being retested with this Pokemon too. Like all oh, this no. stuff. Wait, did did oh, o no. And I know and I know they're gonna they they haven't made any posts yet because they're not available on Showdown yet. So they're not gonna like oh update right here. All these Pokemon are coming back. They're not doing it yet. They didn't do it yet. Yeah. But um when they do like if they allow Volk again which they should and like d Knight and all those mods like all this everything benefits all offense benefits from this now on the other flip on the flip side <laughs> we on the have, flip side we have regular nine tails we have a nice c tier pokemon lower tier c -tier. i mean it'll yeah, be, it'll i don't be see RU why RU. you would use this one over torkoal bro yeah no in uh in like the higher tiers for sure ever in lower tiers though nine tails was already a good re pokemon with specs overheat and nasty plot sets with uh, Z moves, so this yeah. being able to Terra and change the type is cool. I put it, I put it like here. I put it above Sand Slash. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. put it here. Like it's, it'll be cool. It'll be, it'll enable lower tier Drought. It might even get Drought banned in lower tiers just because of Terra. And it itself is not gonna be. It's like it doesn't have the best special, the best special attack. Right, it's two sixty one. If you just invest it with a timid nature, but if you can just um, Terra and boost your Fire. If you go Terra Fire specs, like we know how good Fire types are. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good mod support-wise. Lower tier is going to be really good um, overall, so. Mod's a damn yeah, demon. This... Yes, yeah, so Chlorophyll, Lower like, 
Yeah, lower tier, man. Like, because we're getting back some chlorophyll users as well. So yeah, we're actually getting to them real good. soon. Uh, are, yeah, guys, if you already made it to half an hour in the video, by the way, I, I'll need you to say. Uh, I need you to put the word. I need you to put Ogie Dogie in in the, in the comment section. Just let us know you got to this part. I appreciate you yeah, for listening like, this far. Ogie Dogie Joey. No, please don't listen to him. I just need <laughs> Ogie Dogie. Just to know, just to know that y'all got this far. Uh, and feel free again to sub the MV if you like listen to us talk. We do that a lot in our videos. That's basically our whole video plus battling. Like that's our whole gist. Yeah. All right, Polly Raph, bro. What do you think about this rain setter? Well, not rain setter, but rain abuser. Bro, Polyath is so cool, and I mean, on rain, like outside of rain, whatever, but like on rain though, I think it's gonna be quite fantastic with belly drum terrestrialization. Yep. Ooh, Close combat. Honest. Got knockoff now too. Combat knockoff, yeah, it does have that. It has, uh, I mean, you can just drain punch everything back as well, which is nice. Bro, uh, what's stopping like sub in lower tiers? What's stopping sub belly drum uh, drain punch knockoff? Like that combo is just freaking good with Terra. That combo is good because you already have the knockoff for like slow bro and stuff like that. I don't know. It's it's super good. I remember running it like a long, long time ago back in the day. Gen Bro, I ran this thing in like Gen 5 rain and I was running Belly Drum Encore. It was like just to like lock him into like, like sub yeah. sub Encore Belly Drum. Yeah. Super, super good. Like it, it got um, it got so much. It has Encore as liquidation. Like it having yeah. Drain Punch is so nice. Close combat finally in the main game and stuff like that. Oh, it had flows on. But like, like here, all here is just so nice, dude. I freaking love it. has high horsepower too. High horsepower, yep, yep, yep. That's good too. That's good too. Um, yeah. Ooh, you know what? I'm listening. You what? know that item called uh what was that item that makes you rich? I love that one item that makes <laughs> Friendship. You talking about the amulet coin, bro? I don't know, what's that one item that uh like you can sell it for a lot of money? It's pretty big. Can you like, stop talking about the damn big nugget? Nobody cares about this big nugget. Every, every, everything gets knocked off now. Nobody cares about that. Come on. That was cool for two weeks. It's still cool though. <laughs> yeah, it's still fun. Um, anyway, where would you put Polyrath? Um, um, I would put Polyrath, actually, I would put it above Ninetales. Do you think it's better than Ninetales? I think it's better than Ninetales uh, for what it can do. Don't you think it uh, it matters like if rain is allowed in the lower tiers? Oh, um, hmm. Because Ninetales will, I mean, Polytale probably will, but Polytale probably well, stays I mean, like, as a Pokemon, like, as a Pokemon, though, I think it's... Better than Ninetales? Still better than Ninetales as okay. a Pokemon. I don't, I don't also think it's like, up here, but... I don't think it's D tier. I, I think it's high D tier, but to be honest, but that's fine. Uh, it's definitely above Alone Sand Slash, that's for sure. I mean, I find what it would be above Alone Sand Slash. I just think that, like, yeah. Ninetales will always be able to do its thing, whereas Polyrath might not. I mean, Water Fighting... Bulk so, up potential. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's setup. good. I think it's good. Like, you know who else could do water fighting? You know, Crabonable if it uses Crab Hammer. But, um, <laughs> all right, Thank you. Victory Bell. Victory Bell is going to be as good as where Sun is, right? Like, it's, it's going to be it's where Sun is. Yeah, so it'll be here or here. Like, D, high D, depending on where Sun is, because Sun is always good. I think they banned at one point the uh, Heat Rock and Damp Rock in PU. Which is very funny. Like Onyx was like the best abuser of it, which is very funny. Yeah. But I think it's like yeah. a high, like a high D type well, of thing. Well, so like a, the cool thing is a lot of Mons get Weather Ball back, right? And Victory Bell is one of them. Mm -hmm. Knock off Weather Ball stuff like that. Like Weather Ball is really, really Sleep cool. Powder. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah, like one of the biggest appeals of using like these chlorophyll uh, sweepers is that it has Weather Ball to destroy like Steel types and things. So I, I de definitely am glad that this Mon has it back. Uh, yeah. With the well fire. Yeah, I mean, you could go for, like, a, a growth type of thing and then go for the... Assuming it still gets growth at the moment. Yeah. Uh, it just does, because the Leaping Bell does. So you can use growth and do, like, Weather Ball, your grass move, and then you can go Terra Ice or you can go uh, Sludge Bomb as well. Like, those are all, like, options. I do, I do think it's a D-tier Pokemon, though. Like, I think for outside of it, maybe it could set up Sun for itself, but it's not going to be sweeping. Like, outside mm -hmm. of what... I think it really depends on what's next to it. Also, uh, speaking of D-tier... Golem, nice little PU stealth rocker. Golem is, uh, yeah, I like, you know, I like the sturdy. I like the stealth rocks. That's it though, right? <laughs> That's it. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, you could, you could run some, uh, you could run some, uh, weakness policy set with it, maybe? Low tier. Uh, apparently, oh. wait, apparently Custard Berry is back. Somebody said they got it from the ogre thing. So sturdy cuss uh, apparently, apparently they got it from the ogre. Apparently, cuss that bear is back. Do not quote me on that. Someone just said in the comments that they got it 
from the Ogre game. I hope they were not lying to me. I hate being lied to about Pokemon because I care so much about it. But yeah, wait. What? Damn, if it is back, oh my god, the game has changed. The game has changed. Oh, that's crazy. But anyway, yeah. Um, that's a D tier. All right, what do you think about Diplin, bro? Diplin? I just caught one, actually. Um, I, just, I literally just caught one, and so... Did you put it in the box? Put it in the box. <laughs> all right, that's all, I, that's all I have to hear. <laughs> put, caught it, put it in the box. I looked at it, put it, I'm like, okay, cool. Syrup, <laughs> this and that. No sweet apple, nice. Put it in the box. Saved it for later. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's that great, like... It's not. Doesn't seem like, well. So his ability does it lower evasiveness, which means does it make Draco Meteor one hundred percent accurate? Yeah, basically. Yes. That's pretty cool. That's a good I like one. that. Yeah, I think that is pretty cool, as well. Um, the the fact that it's so it's Syrup Bomb is eighty five accuracy, but it has obviously its ability, so it doesn't have to worry about that. It's like sixty base power and it lowers your speed, so it's really weak. It's weaker than the, I believe I saw it at sixty base power in the screenshot I saw, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. And in terms of move pull, I mean, it has just about as much as flat pull. It has grass, dragon. It's a... bulky. It's bulkier than Appleton on the defense. Yeah. But um, doesn't have the, I believe, the HP as well as the uh, ability. Low for the, and th and no, thick fat, no thick fat's pretty big when no it comes to this fat, stuff. Yeah. I don't know, dude. This is like a, a D. This is a, in, in singles, I think this is a D. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I'm not, not the biggest fan of it. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Yeah. I do think that um, there may, there. I think people were saying there may be an maybe evolution. evolution. Yeah, maybe. I hope so. It needs it. <laughs> this mod stinks. This mod stinks. It's a rot now. I mean, I'm sure you know. I throw a choice specs on this Pokemon, or I use it defensively or recycle. I'm sure we'll be able to do something with it. Don't get me wrong. Right? It has recover yeah. as well. It has it has what it needs to. But like, Alpatin was decent in NU. It was decent in you before the tier shifts with like a jet pack, Draco Meteors, and like Recycle and stuff like that. It was really fun, but like, also I might have put it too high. Where do you want me to put this? I might have put it way too high, bro. Apple, uh... Well, I definitely put it below uh, Victory Bell. Yeah? I'd put it uh, below Sand Slash. Yeah, you think Spikes and Stealth Rock are just way better with Nah? Yeah, keep it above Golem. <laughs> okay. That's fine, I can stay there. I like that Arbok is our baseline, like it's ah, terrible in Pokemon when it's like, it's yeah, all right. Arbok's, it's the baseline right now, you're right. It literally is. Yeah, that's the, that's the Mon. All right, uh, this is Sinistra, right? Sinistra. Sinistra, uh, I think so, right? That, yeah, Sinistra, that the, yep, Sinistra. That's not the Poltergeist. No, 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 that's Sinistra, that's the evolution. Cool. So they did, they get the, the Geist for the baby and they did the evolution. So, this Pokemon, it has Heat Proof as a hidden ability. Not bad considering you are Grass and Ghost. So, Heat Proof is a pretty really good. pretty big win. Pretty big win. Obviously, Hospitality if you play doubles. 106 Defense, 121 Special Attack, 80, 80 Special Defense, 70 Speed, 71 HP. Does not learn Shell Smash. Does not learn Shell Smash at all. Does get Calm Mind, though. Calm so, Mind and Nasty Plot. And Nasty Plot, yep. So you are able to boost your um, offensive stats mm -hmm. regardless. Got has Macha uh, Macha Gacha, which is what does that do again? Uh, it's Scald plus Giga Drain, with uh, I believe ninety or okay, ninety five right. ninety or ninety five yeah. accuracy, and it has eighty power. It's either ninety or ninety five accuracy uh, from the screenshot. That's pretty good, actually. That that's honestly pretty good. Like especially when you're pairing it with like Calm Mind or something, mm -hmm, you just mm -hmm. burn stuff. So you're boosting your uh, Spit F and potential burns. Also, also learn accuracy. Scald too. Also has Scald as well. Scald. Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, you know, he has good coverage, Shadow Ball. Shrimp Step isn't bad, yeah. Like, there's there's a lot. Like, there as well. Mm -hmm. I'm a little sad that it's not a Shell Smasher. I was a little bit more excited for a Shell Smasher variant, but it being, like, def really defensive is really nice. Like, actually being able to switch in on Tusk and stuff, like Earthquakes, and obviously immune to close Yeah, cards. this thing is 106 defense is, like, pretty crazy for this mod, even though its HP is, like, whatever. But, like, it can it can definitely sponge hits, right? And Shrimp yeah. can heal pretty easily, like, really easily. You get 50% back from Macha Gacha. Like, there's a, there's a whole lot, like, when it comes there's to this. There's a lot mod. of really with this yeah I, I like this mod a lot bro like this mod i feel like it, it can actually it can actually utilize it's like i think this is a stat. super cool draft mod dude like way better than poltergeist on draft because poltergeist 100%. like weak armor and you hit it and you know you kill it later i do think this is still a c tier po pokemon though like i don't think it's uh, i don't think it's like i put it above nine tails that's what i was thinking as well 
Like yeah, I was thinking, like like I a C tier. I think Pheasant Nipity has a lot more going for it than this month. I think the fact that I can click Toxic and Roost has a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah, Terra is obviously gonna make a difference, but I, I put it there too. Ooh, one of my favorite mods. This is a this is a B tier for me. Immediately, Galarian uh, Weezing, beautiful typing, right? Resisting everything that uh, Young Iron Valley wants to go for, unless it's like Psychic or some crap like that. Like not resist, but resist its stabs, resist its coverage moves. Usually like knock off, take neutral from Thunderbolt and stuff like that. I also want you to know that this generation you can finally use Curse plus Play Rough plus Terra Blast, so you can actually use a physical version now instead of having to use Explosion or Gyro Ball as your last, which is pretty cool. The mm -hmm. fact that you can default on Golden Go because of neutralizing gas ability, so as Golden Go tries to come in, oh, true, is really cool, oh, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, does still have Toxic as well with Defog, uh, Sludge Bomb has a you know it's wheezing right? Had a great move pull of all time like. Dazzling Gleam has the, the the strange steam, of course, right? Your your standard dot move, um, yeah. your 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 fire move, your electric move, like it's your poison move. It's it's good. It's a good. I think it's a, a B tier, nice B tier Pokemon. I put it definitely in B tier. I think neutralizing gas is such a cool ability, um, and it's especially useful versus those nice stall teams that try mm -hmm, to regenerate mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And and stuff. Like tell them, tell them how to so use it, bro. Tell them how to stop regenerate it. What do they got to do? Oh, yeah. All you got to do is you switch into it, right? Neutralizing gas uh, comes out, and if your opponent tries to switch out of uh, whatever, Toxic Pex, Olomomola, Slow King, whatever, doesn't matter, they cannot regenerate. Exactly. Um, so you can, you can continuously like set up hazards. They come in, you switch this in, they switch out, they can't heal, they come back in, take more hazards. It's, Let them it's know. super nice. Shop stall. Exactly, exactly. Uh, that's really cool. Like really, 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 really cool. Mm -hmm. um, also, I feel like I don't know. I don't think we'll have any like S. S well, we will have an S tier on this list for sure. I think we will. I think there's a this is B. Like I put it like I think so. like next to Clef like type of thing. Yep. Like I, I, I like it like in terms of support. Like I like it better than these two. I do like it better than the Ogre Yes, hundred percent. I think yeah below Clef because I think Clef is just it's good at what it does, but yep. using just below that. Also, one second, I think my boss message. One second. No problem. So now we have regular raising, which I think will be um, an NU slash, you know, RU threat. I think it's like around the Ninetales era. I think it's just going to be good support. It's going to be your standard dot, right? It's going to be your fighter switching. It's going to be, I'll put it like right here. I don't, I don't really I care. think so. Yeah, like I think they're both fine. It's going to be your fighter switching. It's going to be pain splitting. It's going to be toxic spiking, willow wisping. Like it's just your standard wheezing. And it has neutralizing gas too, which is cool. But I think it'll, it'll utilize levitate, right? To be immune to that ground. Like it's going to be... That's about it. I don't. I don't see like much left for that mon outside of that. I think it's gonna be a good NU Pokemon. I think it's better than D tier, and I think that's just about it when it comes yeah, to. Like it still has neutralizing gas, which is great. Um, you know, ability wise, it can do a lot of the same things as Galarian Weezing, but Galarian Weezing does have you know better typing, uh, some moves that I don't think uh, regular Weezing has. I yeah. definitely put it below. Um, I think uh, Galarian Weezing is gonna be also used a lot more. How would you see Slowbro? I mean Slowbro. Wow. I'm sorry, Snorlax. Snowbro will be good, by the way. It gets scalded now again. How would you use Snowbro? Snowbro you think is a very fun mon. Um, I mean, this mon, so it's really bulky, mm -hmm. strong offensively. Um, you know, it can run your usual Chinese AV or whatever if you want to. But uh, I'm, does it get any new? No, no, no slack off. But it can still Terra and Curse, which is pretty big. Right, right. It has Encore as well, actually. It gets Encore, which is pretty interesting. Okay. Hmm. Encore Protect. It gets, you know, it still has Counter as well. You can use that. Ooh. It has Trailblaze, so you can make it really fast. <laughs> belly if you Drum want to. Trailblaze is really funny. Trailblaze Norlax. Dude, yo, Belly Drum Trailblaze, and because it has Gluttony, you use the Salic Berry. So you have the uh, the two speed at half immediately. Oh, yeah, like you can actually make it. Wow, thing, like... we are not cooking at all. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. No, but like its coverage is, is great, right? Like you can utilize this thing offensively really well because it has like it pr pretty much has something for everything. Like it's a good it's of, a good uh, curse lax, dude, right? Yeah. Is it what is this bottom of B high C? Because this is gonna be UU. -U. Snorlax, I would definitely put above um the teacup. The teacup? You think it's gonna be that you think Pheasantipity has better than Snorlax? I feel like Snorlax is a little bit better. And Fez. Well, I put it above the ogres then. That's what I'm thinking too. Like I thought, I thought it was like leading C tier. Like this is yeah, a, a top like tier it. UU Pokemon, and this I could see being. I like, it. like that's what I would do it. Cause like 
I think it has B. What I'm, what I'm, when I'm looking at it, guys, in tiers, I'm looking B. And this is OU, right? OU and OU viability. I think Snorlax can creep in sometimes, but I don't think it's always going to be able to do it. Uh, and then, obviously, this is top tier in terms of that. Like, I'm not putting it into tiers, but I see this as what can be used in OU, for sure. Mm -hmm. Every, everything will be used in OU at first until the end of the month. But I'm saying what I think is great. All right. Furret has tidy up, bro. And you're drafting Yo, it. Are, are you are you excited about that? I'm okay. So at first I was not excited about Furret at all, but then when I saw tidy up, I quickly tidied up my uh, feelings about Furret, and now Ooh. I feel great about Cleaned it. Cleaned it up. Um, yeah, he's a new man. Be, yeah, being able to remove hazards is is amazing niche for this Pokemon. Um, and I I think out of all the Pokemon that get tidy up, it's only Mousehold and Furret. Yep, mouse and mouse for one to get it, um, and that's cool. Like, because now this Pokemon is actually solid, low tier hazard control. Yeah, um, it's basically Dragon Dance, moving hazards, mm -hmm. and uh, it's gonna be a very nice PUZ human that can get rid of the hazard. Understand? I mean, with Terra though, I mean, I can, you know, Terra is Terra's kind of strong, bro. With this thing, you know, you you can't that... population bomb, but you can definitely. Double edge, uh, body slam. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely you can trigger the pot flesh. Good. I mean, so there was a little bet, guys, and shot. And guys, I swear, I said this in the stream, but I swear they gave this thing tidy up because the Killer Nacho used it back in the day and called it Dust Buster. And I, I'm thinking about like that's the only reason that they gave it tidy up. It has to be it. So shout out to the people at the Pokemon Company who were the Killer Nacho fans back in the day. I was definitely one of them. Um, so big. Shout out to you. It's definitely a D tier Pokemon, but I'm excited to actually see you draft it because Tidy Up Fur actually sounds like it could clean up some games for you, bro. Plus, at the end of the day, it gives you hazard control, which is sick. Yeah, like I, I could see myself because you know, utility wise, Tidy Up, Knock Off, uh, all that kind of stuff. And it's gonna like be that. low. It's gonna be like three points, bro. There's no way we put this thing like that no, high. So this we can't be... put it that. We can't put it that high. Like that. This one is. It's. It's. It's not good, but <laughs> it's, it's not. It's, good. it's not good, but it's there. Um, it's there. Noctowl. No, I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm happy for that one. Noctowl's another uh, another around the same area, right? Tinted Lens, Hurricane, Terra Fly. Obviously very good. But at the end of the day, you're a Noctowl. Why would I use that over Hisui and Braviary, right? Or type of thing. Um, but that's not saying it's bad. I don't think Noctowl's bad. I just think that it's a lower tier sweeper. Also another pretty good Terramon. That'll probably be fun in draft to use as well. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I, uh... Ariados, though. It got... It has Sticky Web, it has Knock Off, obviously it has Toxic Thread, um, it got, it does Toxic, it has Toxic Spikes, it's gonna be a D tier, but it's, you know. D tier, I already know. Little spider, little spider web. Yeah, I don't know. I freaking like, love this Mon, dude. I, I love this Mon ever since the movie, and it's just not great. Let me look at my team builder real quick. Ari. We used we used it. I'm pretty sure we used it in BDSP or something. We had to have. But um Toxic Spike, it's like a lead, you know, your lead sticky webber, nice lower tier sticky webber. It has Swords Dance plus Terra plus Sucker Punch plus like Shadow Sneak, so it has options, but it's not unfortunately and it also has uh I believe you still have Mega Horn. I do not see Mega Horn in your arsenal. Let me look at Spinarak. That was on my old set. My old set that I used to run was like uh webs with like Mega Horn and mm. stuff like that, so um, it was really cool. It gets Megahorn, yeah. It's Megahorn is the, oh, nice. uh, yeah, and it gets disabled and things like that. So it has options, like, Spinrack gets Megahorn as an egg move. So it has options, but it's a lower tier mon. It's gonna lower tier mon, it's gonna get up hazards. Like, it can bug bite? Yep, got an appetite. That's about it. It'll get to use the berry. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. it. Has... That's freaking it, man. It doesn't have anything else. That's, you can keep looking. I can looking. tell you some stuff that has. You can run Swords Dance with Smart Strike. Wow, but everybody wants smart coverage. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be smart, right? You gotta be yeah, smart. Yeah, commercials, you oh. hear me now? Good. <laughs> but, uh, alright, let's talk about Polytoad. So Polytoad, Polytoad's back. Kind of excited about Polytoad. Has its Endeavor, has Encore still, has Weather Ball, obviously, offensively. It got, it got Earth Power as well, which is really nice. It already had Earth Power, but, like, from the previous buff. But it got Earth Power, which I still think is really nice. Um, like, offensive, like, this is like a scary Terra Pokemon as well, like, like, back in black and white, guys, black and white OU, Envy and I used to use Choice Specs, Polytoad, Hydro Pump to 2 KO Rotom upon switching. We were crazy back then, bro. We li literally would, like, all of our, our Polytoads would have Hydro Pump. Some of them would have Choice Specs. Some of them would have Water Gem, if you remember that yep, one. Yep, yep, um, yep. So they were, they were definitely scary back then when it came into it. So it's actually kind of, it's cool, dude. It's cool to see 
like this mon come back i think it's gonna be a solid lower tier pokemon for rain right i think so too I think i'm not so. using this i'm not using this over pelipper with u-turn and, and knock off there's no freaking way i'm using this over pelipper well the thing is like yeah pelipper can roost pelipper does not have defog um in OU, U turn is in OU, I mean. in OU, right yeah in OU, yeah it's just true i guess um but I could see cases for using Politoed in OU over Pelipper, like for example, this gets Parasong, right? Uh, I think it still has Parasong. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it still has, it still has Parasong. You can Whirlpool Paris Trap. You know, that's always uh, a fun option. I did that actually with a Shedinja team. Do I team. see um, Whirlpool on its moveset anymore? I do not, but let me check Poliwag real quick. Yeah, I don't see Whirlpool anymore, so it can't. It doesn't look like a can Paris Trap. Let me see. Poliwag. Poliwag yeah. does not get Whirlpool. I, I I might be I might be blind. No, you're not. I am looking at it too. It does not, unfortunately, get it. Yeah, so you can't Paris Trap. Like that's it. I mean, the yeah. only reason I'd use this on my team is if I'm using it on my team with Pelipper. <laughs> like that's it. I mean, for doubles, I know some people like Polytoad over Pelipper. I like Pelipper in doubles anyway. Um, but for some people, I know some VGC players were excited about it. Uh, I used it in doubles OU as well, but I used Pelipper as well, which was arguably better when I used it, but yeah, it's a lower tier. It's like around the Ninetales level, right? It's going to support, it's going to be, you know, the mons next to are going to be as good as they're going to be, right? I will say though, offensive water moves are very annoying to switch into, especially when rain boosted. 100%, 100%. Um, and I mean, you have some pretty good coverage as well, so gotta watch out. Exactly. Polytoad is, uh, it's coming. You better watch the hell coming out. Coming for you. Yeah. All right, Gligar. We're getting into some excited, exciting Pokemon now. We're getting into some really exciting Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, Ground yeah. Ground type coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. What do um, you think about Gligar, I'm, I'm brother? I'm talk about these, yeah. Gligar is interesting. I love that Pokemon. I actually had it in Draft League before. Um, I think one of the first times that I played Joey in Draft is when I had it on my team. And yeah, this Pokemon, I mean, its utility options are pretty great, pretty phenomenal. Like, knockoff and... Uh, you, you, know, turn. you have access to Roost, yep, you turn. Oh, it doesn't have Roost. Optic. I didn't see Roost in it. No Roost? Oh, no, sorry, yeah, no Roost. Um, however, you can... Uh, it toxic, you can you can Toxic Spikes and Spikes now, too. So can, yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, hazard options. Hazard options are amazing for this one. Toxic Spikes, Spikes, uh, Stealth Rocks. Does it get Stealth Rocks? It has to, right? It does, or it no? does. Now, I want to say, guys, that someone in the comment section said, no, I brought my Roost Gliscor to Scarlet and Violet, no problem. And I think that's, they, they might have, and if that's actually confirmed, that's great. But from what I remember is if you bring a Pokemon, it just changes its moveset to the Scarlet and Violet moveset. So I don't think Gliscor has Roost right now. If Gliscor and Gligar have Roost, Gliscor goes up to A in viability. Right, when we get to Gliscor, Gliscor goes up to A in viability. But if it doesn't have Roost, then that uh, that is the, um, you know, the decider when it comes to that. But Roost obviously makes a big difference when it comes to this Pokemon, but offensively in lower, like Gligar would be crazy in lower tiers with that. It'd be a crazy UU Pokemon with it. But again, fast Spiker, Taunter, anti lead with Taunt, Earthquake, Stealth Rock. It can get up all the hazards, knock off support. It's still possible. It's definitely still possible. And I mean, for the longest time, Gligar was its own Pokemon, so you could even put leftovers on it if you really want to. It has 105 defense, right? It's not speed. bad in terms of what it can like handle even without a Violite. With a Violite you'd really want to have Roost yeah. on it, but because it doesn't have it, it's going to be um, I think not that, as uh, yeah. useful of a Pokemon. I would put it definitely, I, as Gligar is, doesn't have Roost, I'd put it probably below Weezing or above yeah. Weezing. Yeah, I was thinking like this as well, like below Weezing. Now, if it does end up yeah. getting Roost back, it makes a big difference. Also, yeah. I'm uh, yeah. I'm definitely willing to put, move these guys down to be like top okay. of D. Like they, they, that this. makes sense. Makes a lot of sense with what we have right now. Um, I'd probably put Polyrath above Sand. Okay. I don't know. I, don't if... know. I, I like that mod a lot for what it can do. I kind of I really like Sand a little bit more just because of Shelly Reception is easier than Rain in my opinion, but I'm completely fine with it. Now, Gliscor, just because Gliscor doesn't have Roost, and again, if it does have Roost, it makes a big difference. Doesn't mean it can't sub Toxic Protect Earthquake. Doesn't mean it can't Taunt Earthquake, Knock Off, U Turn, or Protect. Doesn't mean or it can't just survive with poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly. It it I'm saying protect with Toxic Orb, Poison Hill, by the way, yeah. guys. I should have, I should have, thank you for mentioning protect that. Protect Toxic Orb, yeah. Yeah, yeah be protect exactly. Toxic Orb. Uh, can still set up spikes and Toxic Spike, can taunt Swords Dance, can still facade, can terrestrialize into a water, even a normal type if it wants to, to normal get a boosted facade, yeah. facade as well. Like, don't get me wrong, Gliscor is still a pretty solid po I still think it's a B tier Pokemon. 
even with no roost i think it's a b tier pokemon i don't think it's a without roost but i think it's definitely a b tier pokemon without roost yeah you get access to dual wing beat now which is pretty cool you can do your fling not big nugget fling acrobatics uh with toxic orb as well yeah um, just to poison things although you could fling a big nugget if you really wanted to but please the stop. cool thing is <laughs> glyscore is like if you remember back I mean, in Gen dude, Glyscore 5, learns Toxic still as well. It still learns Toxic, exactly. And you have all your hazard options. If you remember back in Gen 5, it never really... I don't think it got Roost or it was... It, it um, did, but we, did, we didn't use it right away. We didn't use it right away. A lot, like, like, the majority of the sets were Protect, Toxic Orb, and just using Protect as your recovery um, option just to heal because Poison Heal was, uh, you know, it's really good in terms of keeping it healthy yep. and you don't take 25 from rocks the flying type so yeah like dude, uh, dude legit like i could use a fizz def terra water glass score toxic the great tusk and then protect beat it 1v1 right between knockoff yep. protect earthquake and toxic i think it's definitely a b tier viability mon i think it's actually like here in terms of where it be. i think it's with this these three i might even um, put it like here in terms of them i still think glass score is good I think I would put Gliscor, I actually would put Gliscor above uh, Clef, maybe even above Ogie Dogie. Uh, that's hard to put it above Ogie Dogie, but I, 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 I guess I could see it. I guess I could see it. Ogie Dogie right, has a nice punch though. And Swords deep. Dance and stuff, you can Terra, you, you, yeah, so much I'll, put, I'll put it above Ogie Dogie. Too. Like, just because you don't, like, just because it doesn't have roost, like you can still passively heal with Toxic Orb. Yeah, and Toxic, it's up. still good. It's still a good Pokemon for sure, dude. And like we've used, turn, right? yeah, it does. We've used enough cool. Protect Glyscore in our lives. Like I, I mean, even Gen Four, I was using League Glyscore with Stealth Rock, Taunt, U-Turn, Earthquake. Just with passive healing makes a big difference. Yep. Like obviously losing Roost is big, right? Losing Roost is big, yeah. I mean, but I don't think it lost enough to make it. Uh, bad way worse than it was before no not at all it's still a good pokemon it's just not it's just not it's just not the s tier that it would be in my opinion or a tier that it would be yeah. uh with it so speaking of uh well not a tier but i think that we have a nice little c tier right here with palace one palace one c tier definitely above glygar mm -hmm. i would put it above maybe even wheezing Ooh. like the weather mods i think can stay uh, i think i think above wheezing just because it has really good typing Evil Light. Evil, yeah, and Evil Light for like really good bulk as well. So this mod is going to be super good in lower tiers. Stealth Rocks is fantastic. I shared priority. Um, and then this mon also, it gets, uh, I think it gets some new stuff, right? Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, it gets Knock Off again. Knock Off again is huge. Yes, indeed. Actually, does Palace One get Knock Off again? I know it gets. I know, I know, well, I know it, Mammal's pretty Yeah, I know Mammal gets it. Um, Pilo does not get knockoff. Gets Spear. It doesn't actually have anything new. <laughs> gets Trailblaze. It doesn't Trailblaze have anything new. There, but but let, let me tell you something, bro. This mon is reliable. All right? I've used it, it, I've used it enough in draft and in like lower tiers to know it's reliable. It is a reliable Pokemon. You can't use it. It has base 100 attack too, so it's not terrible. Obviously, it's no Mammal Swine, which we're about to get into. Dude, I freaking love Mammal Swine, and honestly, I think Backscalibur is gonna get banned, right? Like even I think without Terra, Backscalibur gets banned because yeah. of the loaded dice plus Scale Shot option. Speaking of Scale Shot, shout out to Garchomp being saved because you know that boy was going UU -U without it. But yeah, um, we needed that, and now it can run like loaded dice. And yeah, stuff too. yeah. So let's get to Mammal Swine real quick. Knock off. Mammal Swine, I'm so excited for it. Trouble is so fire, right? Are you gonna add it on your assault vest sets? <laughs> yes, so, well, I could, yeah. So, I mean, the Assault Vest sets are going to be running the usual, um, you know, Icicle Crash, Earthquake, Ice Shard, and Rock Tome, but my mm. favorite move of all time. Now, Tiny's Mammoth Swine, right? We have to talk about this mon because it was a very iconic Pokemon back during um, the origins of Chinese EV spreads, which was back around during uh, Gen 6. Um, Assault Vest, when it came out later on, uh, this mon was phenomenal. Absolutely such a great tank overall because this mon was designed to beat Pokemon such as Volcarona, beats Pokemon such as Magearna, even like it, it, it sponged so many different kinds of hits. And with the, of course, the intricate, iconic, and um, world renowned uh, Chinese EV spread, a lot of people um, <laughs> adapted or adopted this set as their own, you know, on their own teams. And um, yeah, it's just a, a really good powerhouse. Of course, there's other sets you can run like Life Orb and Freeze Dry and stuff like that, Choice Band, things like that, as well as. Uh, Sash Lee with Endeavor. I do believe it does have Endeavor again. Because um, I think for some time it didn't have it. Uh, let me just double check here. Yeah, like Mamoswine. 
such a great mon. Um, ground ice typing is, is phenomenal. I love this mon so much. It's one of my favorite Pokemon to run Chinese sets on, and I would definitely put it as an A tier Pokemon for sure. Above Alolan Ninetales. I will and you say... also now we get the ice type defense boost too. Yep. So with A V, Spadef and Defense Boost from Ice like from uh, uh Snow. Ooh. I, I would say loaded dice as well, being able to Yeah, loaded uh, dice high school spear. Loaded and, and rock blast and rock blast. And rock blast, yep. And rock I blast. actually don't want to put it over nine tails just because I think nine tails enables too much. I think that nine tails makes too many mons good, like even better. Like I think Mammal Swine is very hard to switch into, do not get me wrong. And also, dude, ob oblivious, like not having to worry about intimidate is so nice. Oh true, yeah, not having to worry about intimidate is amazing as well. Bro, as a Pokemon though, it you have to put it above. Like nine tails it enables I, a lot. I think sure. I think nine tails next to Mammal Swine is nasty too. I, I really I it's so. hard for me to put nine I feel like nine tails is a staple of A just because it's so freaking good. Like it's just what it does for the metagame. I don't I do not think I think that the, Nine Tails is more likely to get Aurora Veil vale banned from OU, that, or Light Clay banned from OU, than Mammal Swine is to ever be banned from OU. You Can I ask you a question? I'm listening. Do you remember the EV spread of Chinese Mammal Swine? Mm hmm. 232 no. HP. No. I guess I lied. All right, so <laughs> let, me put, no. let, me, let me put Mighty Anna right here. It was 112 HP, 216 attack, 16 defense, 64 speed def, and 100 speed. Oh, wait, you, wait, you changed it after it got o code once. Uh, this was a, oh, so like the, yeah. The original Chinese uh, Mammoth Swine spread was actually, let me actually see if you were correct, because I would love to see. It was a long time ago, though. Yeah. Um, do you, and do you agree, was... by the way, with Mighty Anna and D tier? <laughs> Mighty Anna and <laughs> I would. De it's definitely better than Arbok, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Arbok is our butter, like our our, our trash. Like, see, like Mighty Anna is cool because it can actually sucker punch. It has Moxie, right? It has Moxie as well. So yeah, it's, it has uh, Terra. It's cool. Okay, the original, the actual, like very very old original Chinese beast spread was 124 HP, max attack adamant, 60 defense, 64 speed up, and 8 speed. Uh, um, that, that got changed because of, uh, see that, that Chinese EV spread got revised to the iconic one that you nowadays see because of, um... You got O-Code once. Slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah I got slash. by like, Specs Aegis Slash and stuff like that, and like, you know, it was a little outdated, so it had to be no. revised. Yeah. The new one fits for pretty much every gen now. I, I think it's really hard to put Mighty in a high, like, even with Moxie and stuff, it just has no attack. Like, no attack. Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, well, it, it can get attack through destroying his opponents, getting moxie boosts. I think Mighty Anna is so cool though, but like, bro, it was the like the leader of Team Magma and Team Aqua both used Mighty Anna. Dude, give it give it strong jaw. Okay? Give it strong jaw so it can actually have some decent attacks. So I... like the one thing I want to talk about Mighty Anna is that uh it actually has access to lash out. Which is which cool. it never had before. That's it? You said one thing you want to talk about I guess there was one thing you wanted to talk about. Is that it? Yeah, another thing is, uh, it gets Poison Fang. <laughs> yeah, it had Poison Fang before. Oh, bro! Nasty plot, Mighty Anna. Alright, so that's a D tier mon. Um, Ludicolo uh, is probably next to, like, Victory Bell. Right? Like, they're the same. Like, these, these weather, they're all weather abusers here. They're all the yeah, same. Yeah, Ludicolo definitely, um, so I'm glad that it gets Weather Ball. It's very strong in rain. And, uh, has access to knockoff as well. Icicle Spinner as well. Ice Spinner? Sorry. Ice Spinner, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this Pokemon can run, like, Life Orb or just strong, like, spec special attacks, or it can run a Swords Dance physical attacks. Yep. Uh, uh, pretty good versatility. Definitely a lower tier Mon. Uh, they gave Shift Tree Wind Rider now, which is cool. I think that puts it in, again, the, these are all the same. I would put them, yeah, together. Together for sure. Yeah, these are all, like, a Wind, lot of Wind Rider's cool, reasons. though. Hur Hurricane, Heat Wave, like, that's Yeah, cool. I, I personally would put Shift Tree above uh, Victory Bell and... The reason is because that it's just a, a it's just a more solid chlorophyll sweeper right? mm. in my opinion because of uh what it can do coverage wise and and set up opportunity like and also like it can just do more on its own even outside fair 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 all right uh volby one of the two pokemon to get tail glow uh does not ever use it <laughs> it's gonna be u-turn and it's gonna be the uh the the light uh the clays either not the light but either the um the damp rock or heat rock Typically, when it comes to this yeah. Pokemon, also Tailwind, uh, it did lose Roost. It did lose Roost. Now, you know, this Pokemon, Tail Glow and stuff like that, it's not a great Pokemon. But, you know, if you're the kind of person that just plays any rule, 
You can use Tail Glow Baton Pass on your team. Yes, sir. Game, yes, like sir. Exactly. Assuming it still gets Baton Pass, which it does. So, yep. but but in our format, it's about as good as Arbok. <laughs> About it. <laughs> about I would I would say in lower tiers it's better than Arbok because it can set up the it can set up prankster tailwind and prankster weathers. Yeah. Oh no, like this is actually a pretty good weather setter, uh, you know, with um with the item that extends for whichever one you want for rain or sun. Does it? I, I actually, I, you know, I, I would put this actually. Nah, yeah, I put it where it is. Yeah, I put it below Arbok. Wait, dude, I don't see sunny day on it anymore. Wait. Uh, Am I stupid? This is a question we're gonna ask a lot, by the way, guys. I see Sunny Encore. Day. I see it. It's uh, oh yeah, 49, 49. It's 49. Thank God. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> Woof. Woof! Dodge the bullet, dude. It would have been crazy, bro. It would have been crazy. If All right. Been, <laughs> it, 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 is the same mon that wishes it had tail glow because it actually has tinted lens, and how dare they do that to this mon? But it's the same now, thing. You remember you watched on? I think it was on stream or in a video or something. You watched. Uh, myself destroying a Zelf with struggle bug Illumise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the same Pokemon. <laughs> Can we at least put it above Volbeat? Sure. Can I tempt you to put it above Volbeat? Thank you. Let me see if let me see if there's any logical reason why besides you asking me. 85 speed. 85 speed. Bug here. Struggle bug is nice. Yeah, they're both trash. Uh, Crawdon oh, is Crawdon another A tier. Crawdon definitely I would put below Mamoswine. And um, I do think this Pokemon is going to be a very premier wall breaker mm. in uh, the metagame. Mm. As uh, now with Terrasalization, you can actually nuke things a lot easier. With Terra Water um, Dragon Dance. Yeah, like even though the way Terra exactly. works with adaptability and stuff like that, like like the, the stuff that happens to your, your, your stabs and stuff isn't like the greatest. You get 2.25 times and you, you ignore the other ones. Um, yeah. Water moves still are still strong. broken. Yeah, water moves are still strong. Dark moves are still strong. I agree. I think it's an A tier. Like, I think it's like a... It's one of the mons that you always have to fear fighting in OU. Always. Like you're yes. gonna you're gonna be loading up your balance one day and it's just all those mons. It's one of those mons that you're just gonna fear. Like it could very well end up being uh U UUBL. Uh, I can see that. At some point. But I still think it's a top tier. At least in the beginning, it's gonna be a top tier pick. Top right? tier pick for sure, yeah. I mean with Trash issue, this thing is just I mean it hits really good. Everyone really hard wants right? to use it. Yeah, everybody wants to use it. Orge Dance, Mystic Water or Life Orb, Terra Water, you get your Crab Hammers, your Aqua Jets, or you could even run like Terra Dark knockoffs, mm -hmm, right? I think mm -hmm, this gets knocked mm -hmm, off. It should, right? Mm -hmm. Should get knocked Thoughts off, yeah. on my Lodic with Terra now and and, and Coil and <laughs> and Terra Blast and Dragon Bro, Tail. Dragon Dragon Dance Myelotic sets or Coil Myelotic sets are gonna be so much fun with Terra. Like you can actually utilize it. Yeah, they can yeah. actually sweep. It could, it could actually sweep, right? Because you, I mean, you have stuff like Gale Shot and, uh, you know, Iron Head. And <laughs> Terra Blast, man. Just stop it. Just stop looking Terra at the other Blast. stuff. Yeah, stop looking at the other ones. <laughs> Listen, man. My Lodic's bread and butter and VGC is going to be the Coil Hypnosis Muddy Water Crap. And then in ours, oh, yeah. in ours, it's going to be Recover Haze type stuff. Yeah, Scald. I mean, Scald as well. Scald. One of the few mods that still has Scald. I actually think it's like around this area. I actually think it's C tier around this area. Uh, oh, C tier Milotic. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yep. Like it's literally support. It's a support mon. Um, it can be also used on like teams if you want to run uh, competitive. Just yep. For the boost. Competitive can work as well. As well. Yeah. Um, one of my uh, Milotic sets that I has, featured in the video was has flip turn. Yeah, it has flip turn as well. Turn, yep. So it's definitely, uh, it definitely. Uh, still gets mirror code, right? Hopefully. Yep. Still gets, still gets mirror code. Cool. Still gets yep. mirror code. Uh, Chimeco. Chimeco is actually better than you think, bro. I 6 would the entire stall team. Bro, no, come on, please. Don't put it all the way there. Listen, listen, listen. Let me explain myself, right? Um, let me explain. Let me it, is, explain it, is, it is one of the few mods to have heal bow. It, it, it wait, has wait. rap. Better than Arbok. Right? I think it has Parish Song. Please have Parish Song. Better than Arbok. I don't I see like Parish Song. Song. I don't see Parish Song at all. Well, maybe let me let me, let me, get, let me look at uh, the baby. Because the baby might uh, learn Parish Song still. The baby gets... No, I ha come on, please. Nope. It has, it's done. No, 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 wait, does it? No. no. And you want to know something? The only reason that this mod is better than Arbok is because it can heal Bell. So it actually has utility for your team. Oh, it can heal Bell. Oh. But it does have calm. It can, I mean, I can definitely see it doing like a calm mind, draining his stored power, terror fairy, heal Bell set. Like yeah, like I can that. see it. Stats aren't the worst. Stop it. Stop, stop lying. 
This mod has not been good since ADVNU, okay? Oh, it gets knockoff, come on. Yeah, that's great, man. So does everything. Doesn't matter. All right, let's talk about Jirachi. Because that mod is just above our buck. Because, not Jirachi, I'm talking about this mod. What do you think about Jirachi? What? Let's talk about Jirachi. Talk about Chimeko. I'm talking about Chimeko. I'm talking about Chimeko. Jirachi, which one are we thinking? Jirachi is, um, Jirachi's cool. Like, I mean, it, it's going to have the same wish, stuff it had before. Wish support yeah, U-turn. Wish support, yep. Iron Head spam, Troy Scarf trick, all that kind of stuff. It's got, uh, oh, can, I think it can still do, does it have sword power? Because I think it, it can still do the weakness policy set with, uh, you remember that weakness policy yeah, set? Yeah, 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 it does have sword power, by the way. I was also yep, just yep, checking, yep. I was also just checking to make sure it's still Iron Head. Um, mm. But yeah, it does. Rock, it does. It's rocks, U-turn, wish, healing wish. It's basically just a good solid Pokemon. I think it's a solid, like, solid B tier. Mon, B -tier. you think Jirachi's A? In a ghost yeah, and dark meta? You think it's with Crawdon? Really? Well, name another Steel Psychic type. Metagross and Bronzong, and everything fell off after Gen 4. Jirachi, and, though, uh, technically didn't. Yeah, it's only it's only Bronzong and Jirachi right now in the game. Metagross, I think, is DLC too, if I'm not mistaken. But I think this mon is actually like think about it like this. Gets Encore. Yeah, think about it like this, bro. You got Nine Tails, then you have Jirachi. Jirachi setting up cosmic powers or calm minds or whatever weakness policy, and uh, I think this has this has. Uh, I'm looking for it. Yeah, like you remember that set that i think that says insane i think it also wishes i mean i mean with with terra i think jiraji gets a lot better because it just tears into a water type and then yeah, and also Jiraji can beat the the three like okie dokie monkey door and those stuff it's like a good uh counter to it pretty much right it can work i just know it that pretty much counted them yeah i guess i could see it yeah it's not terrible jirachi was a yu pokemon last generation which is funny to think about I think it's a B. I think it's a B tier Pokemon. But if you think it's A, I'll let you go lower tier A. But I really think it's B. I think it's like I, think, well, I, I, I would have put it like this. Like th if I had to do Jirachi, I I put it like like this type of thing. I put it above Blue Score. Yeah, that's fine. I like how Monkey Dory is leading this, and like watch this thing be absolute trash. <laughs> I think it's gonna be. It's it's just a fast nasty plotter, and it it can spam psychic sludge bombs and stuff. I can, I, I would be okay with this by the way as well. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with this. I think it's okay, because I think Monkey Dory is still the number one out of the, the three. Yeah. Not going to be We're the gonna first We're going to do an exciting Pokemon for you, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. I'm so hyped for Torterra. <laughs> I'm going to put Torterra. I'm just going to say it right now. It's a C-tier Pokemon, but yeah. it's a very fun C-tier Pokemon, because Torterra got Shell Smash and Headlong Rush. It's going to be so fun in lower tiers, and I it's cannot wait. I cannot bro, wait. Shell Smash with Terra, I think, is even going to be good, like, in upper like tiers like you could use this mon i will pretty effectively i will and i'm sure you will it's too it's really bulky it's really bulky too i'm still i'm i'm see like i'm i'm hella like i'll hella use this mon i'm hella use this mon it's gonna be fun um what about ape ape gets knockoff now is ape like a, a high tier c like a high c i, I would actually b? i think it's no bro ape is ape is better than that like bro this thing gets it gets everything that it had before and a little bit more, right? It still has slack off. Yeah, and that kept break. that. Bull. And let me tell you something. That bull was last seen in OU in Generation Five, and it shouldn't. <laughs> and it shouldn't even be OU in Gen. It's OU by technicality in Generation Five, by technicality. No, I mean we saw it in like Gen Six. Like this mod, uh, like it's I had not it on my, OU uh, in my Generation mega, Six. I had it on my Mega Obama Snow team. That team, like, it was pretty good. It's like Ape, flare Ape is stuff. solidly <laughs> Ape is solidly UU, like solidly UU in Generation Six. Yeah, but however, get, get, mon, get, granted, uh, tears do not mean viability. Obviously, like that, I don't want to be ignorant. Yeah, tears yeah, yeah. do not equal viability. But I think in generation six and seven, it did equal viability for ape. I think it's a it's a yeah. high tier C. I think I would put it even low low tier B. I, I would put it over the ogres or around I think the ogres. It has to be. It has to be above the ogres, bro. Like like look at this mon right. Swords dance, nasty plot. I know. I got aura sphere has not. I, I think this biggest buff that it got besides switcheroo is knockoff. So, right, so they actually be, huge, it yeah. being able to force progress, which is something Ape could not do before. If I flare blitz on the Rocky Humbleman, I'm basically killing myself. Uh, if I U turn, they have leftovers, I'm doing no damage, right? So, U turn being able to force progress, I think, is really, really nice. I also think this mod is just great with the coverage, bro. Like, imagine like clicking Grass Knot versus this great Tusk. Yeah. It's just yeah. like gonna get destroyed. Um, and then you have like great utility options Taunt, Will O Wisp. Uh, slack off encore yep. delt rocks um you're right you know all, all that stuff I, I think it's just, i still think it's, it's i still think it's b i still think it's b i don't think ape yeah, is yeah. high I believe, like, no I, I definitely think it's b no I, I think it's b for sure like 
it's a good mon. I don't think it's. I think with Terra it's going to be even better. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't put it anywhere near Chinese memo. Well, what would you do with Empoleon? I know you want to put this mon high, but let's let's. What do you think realistically? What do we think Empoleon is going to be? I was going to say S tier, but you know Empoleon, great mon, best defogger, except it doesn't have defog anymore. So you have to uh, look at what it has. And Flip turn. Empoleon gets a lot of stuff. Yeah, it gets flip turn. Now it has the ability competitive over defiant, so it's actually good. having an ability that focuses on its highest stat. One hundred percent good. Beautiful, mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, you have access to this mod gets knockoff, which is amazing, and um, I love the fact that it gets a vacuum wave now, which is like priority, yep. which is really cool. And um, it has aqua jet as well, but like, yeah, I get what you mean. It's just cool yeah. I mean, it. you can run like swords as aqua jet or like vacuum wave is just good. Special wise, like because like you know, it's it's priority on the special side and special attack is is super high. You also have um, good moves like that you can utilize with like a sword dance, like ice spinner and uh, liquidation things like that. It's really cool. Um, flash cannon it also gets uh, yeah, nice utility moves. Stealth rocks, roar, um, haze, haze. It gets haze, haze. now. The fact yep. that it gets Stealth Rock and uh, Stealth Rock Roar and Knock Off again is really cool because like we didn't know if it was Mons gonna be able to get back like some of those moves, so it's cool because not a lot of Mons have Roar in this generation. Great Tusk actually exactly. just got Roar, which um, is cool. And same thing with yeah. Groudon. They both and one of the biggest things ever for this Pokemon is Roost. Yep. Now that it can actually yep. heal itself up reliably, which um, was one of the moves that I was, uh, I'm sure many of us were hoping that it would eventually get. Just like Joey was like, oh. I want Torterra to get Shell Smash so badly in this gen, like Roost. Empoleon was something that I really, really wanted. Yep. Um, you know, for Empoleon, and especially because it it has it holds a, a really high value and, and, and meaning to me um, in draft league. So I'm really glad uh, for that. Agreed. I think it's gonna be a really good draft league Pokemon. I think it's gonna be a solid UU Pokemon. Like I put this next to Ape, like Ape around there. Like I actually I don't think, so. think I don't even think it needs to be C because I think that it's typing. It has ten resistances and one immunity. Right? Yeah. Like, I think it can actually switch in. Now, I do think it's going to be a little bit harder for it to actually tank hits. But, like, I feel like all these mons, these support mons can do it. These guys are okay. Like, whatever. That lags might even creep up. But, yeah, I think it's like a, you know, it's just cool in terms of that. When in doubt, Chinese AV out. All right. Let me let me leave the D tier real quick with my homie. <laughs> Ooh, Amapom to the top of D tier. No. I mean, that's just be me being greedy. Um... <laughs> I do think it's like around this level though if I had to actually say it. Uh, I think that Amapom is just strong and Terra just makes it stronger. Like mm. there's not there's not a lot when it comes to that. Like Amapom. I mean this one is fast. It's got technician. The switcheroo, fake out. It's just a good anti it's just a good anti uh, anti offense mod, which I really like. And I think anti offense is good in the lower tiers. U turn has knockoff again. Terra actually gives it like fighting stab as well, which is pretty cool with low kick. And um, hmm. I don't know. I think it's a it's a lower tier pick, but I think it's still pretty cool. Like if you have to put it behind the weather, I'll put it behind the weather. Uh, sorry, Sand Slash. I'll put it behind. You the do weather. Uh, you do like loaded dice technician stuff. Uh, that's assuming it still gets the tail slap, which I believe is not something it gets right now. No. No tail slap. Wait, 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 wait. There's Apom. I forgot. I forgot. Apom. Apom is. It learns matters. No. It. Uh. Wait, wait. Tail whip. Don't play with my emotions. Tail whip. Where's the tail slap, bro? <laughs> oh, come on. Is it because Cinchino's not in the game? Is Cinchino in the game? I feel like Cinchino's uh, not in the game, and that's why. Cinchino. Oh, it's PUB up. Damn it, Cinchino. Breed. Breed with my friend. You know who gets? T you know the only one that gets tail slap in the game, bro? Pheasantipity. Yeah, it's not breeding with that. Maybe I'm dumb though. Uh, let me see. Tail slap. No, I literally control that. It doesn't get it. No. <laughs> Why? It doesn't get it. All right. Well, whatever. I, I'm putting M pump D. It, though, Yo, yeah, Mega with Terra with tinted lens and stuff. Yeah, that, I think it's gonna be crazy. That one is like. That's a strong C tier. That's a strong C tier. Heavy C. Uh, yeah, Mega C tier. Like with Terra though, I think it's gonna be. Bro, I'm pretty sure you two a KO Snorlax. With Terra bug gloves. Yeah, let us. Uh, uh, prediction. Well, modest or adamant? Wow, modest or timid? Oh, <laughs> go ahead with a uh, go ahead with modest, bro. Go ahead, modest. Right. I want to see that maximum amount of power level possible. Well, with modest, if Snorlax is not running max special defense and like max HP, so the standard two way HP eighty four special defense takes forty five to fifty three from Bug Buzz, which is pretty cool. But obviously, if it's max max, then it takes forty five max after leftovers thirty eight to forty five, which is still really nice considering you force spikes and stuff. 
And you tear into a bug as well. I don't know. I feel like it's like going to be a nice offensive threat. I don't think it's going to be. It's not B tier. It's not any of these guys. Like at all. I can, think I put it, uh, can I put Pheasant Dippy a little, little higher? Where do you want Pheasant Dippy? You this? Yeah. Okay. I think Ambug is just a good mod. That's it. I think so. What do you think about can the I pro? Can I put Pheasant Dippy a little more higher? You want it in front of this one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Think pro or pass. What do we think? It's got a nice nose. Anything else to help? <laughs> nice mustache. <laughs> Anything at all, MV. When it comes Did you know this... that it evolves with a Thunderstone? It actually evolves mine uh, in my game. With Thunderstone now? Yep. Interesting. Evolves with a Thunderstone. Nose Pass evolves with a Thunderstone. Interesting. I like Terra on this Pokemon because it actually has really good stats, right? 145, 150 special defense and... Def well, 145 defense, 140, uh, 50 special defense is really cool. Gets Power Gem, Discharge. Yeah. You know what's kind of crazy though? Volt switch. Yeah. Thunderstone. Rearrange the letters of stone. It makes nose. Did you just get rid of the T or did you make it silent? Silent. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Where do you want to put this Pokemon, Evie? Um, I like how it gets Iron Defense Body Press. That's really cool. I like also how it has bolsters for momentum. It still has Stealth Rock. I also like how it can block. It can... Magnetic does, does it still learn block? Does it still learn block? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, oh I'm, shoot, block, which is pretty cool, right? And um, other than that, I would put it. It's a D tier. <laughs> yeah, no. So I would actually put it above Golem, or maybe yeah, I put it above Golem. I put it above. Golem. I think Sticky Webs is uh, a valuable uh, thing to have. Not a lot of. Why, not a lot of. Good why do we have that Why do we have this Diplin this high? Diplin? Well, we could dip it down even lower if you want. Yeah, bro, like what? I'm trying to think, like, why is this one better than Golem? Well, I think it's better than Probopass. And I think it's better than Apple. Oh, sorry, yeah, not Apple, though. Spider. Fine. I don't think it's as good as Noctowl. I, actually... I also do think that Noctowl should be a little higher. When did we do Noctowl? I actually just blanked. We did it a while back. Noctowl, having, like, you know... The tinted lens hurricane and stuff like that, nasty plot. We compared it to we compared it to uh, Braviary. That's why. Oh, okay. Um, same reason why. Uh, same reason why. Like, yeah, Mega is solid, but like, I mean, I think yeah, Mega is a good Pokemon in general. So I'm just gonna knock out Rain. Actually, sounds get my other contact, but I think yeah, Mega is a good Pokemon in general. But I don't know this. Uh, I don't see like Noctowl being higher than low tier. No, I don't. I don't either. I just think it's like better better within the low tier than certain other low tiers like i think it's better than fur i mean fur has tidy up which is amazing but knocked out is is a threat are you gonna drop you gonna drop both you gonna drop both no <laughs> oh, okay just check one of the other maybe just check uh, yeah knockout's cool though i like it i like that one but um in any case yeah i definitely think that uh probo pass should be where it is right now yeah let's you want to put should i put another dpv threat down there in the d <laughs> well dpv threat, threat? <laughs> I feel like this is all right. Like it gets Pulsar guys. So it's actually uh, like, I remember, I think in P or ZU, it was an offensive threat with choice, man. It was like one of the best Pokemon. And I feel like that's kind of like where this Mon resides. Uh, I think so too. Um, this Mon, I don't think it has a lot of new stuff that we haven't seen before. Yeah. Um, it's kind of good for what it does. That's why I think so too. Like it's, it's solid for what it does, but like in terms of doing anything extra, it's nothing crazy. Not uh, that impressive, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Dusclops is better than VGC as well uh, when it comes yep. to this Pokemon. But I will say that our first S tier, Darkrai. Darkrai should be definitely an S tier. I'm on his, I mean, even though, you know, I, it's, I hope they allow it. For like, it'd be cool if they allowed it in OU, like, because I, I, I do think that it's not, well, I don't know how crazy it would be with Terrasolation, but I don't think it's crazy at a first glance. No, it's not. Uh, so a few calcs, like it doesn't two it KO, spit off Garg. Like Terra Water Garg, unless it's life or but I do think that uh, Nine Tails is what pushes something like this over the edge. Um, it's not that bulky. It's not paper, but it's not that bulky. Was it 70, yeah. 90, 90, something like that? Um, it also doesn't have um, a Dark Void that's accurate. Uh, Fortune Hypnosis is just like five points more accurate. So like it's or five or ten. Uh, I forgot if Dark Void's fifty or fifty-five. Um, of which, course, it's fifty. Yeah. So like Hypnosis sixty, uh, but. Faster than Val, nasty plot. 
uh, Aurora Veil and the ability to tear out defensively, I think makes it an S rank threat. Definitely. Now, a question for you, actually. Would you allow this Pokemon in a draft league, or would you rather it be banned in the draft league? If we allow it, I'm drafting it. <laughs> but I, I don't think it actually... I do think without Terra, though, it's not as broken in draft. Probably not as broken. Like, without Terra, it's not as broken in draft at all. Um, but... Yeah, I think it's still a decent Pokemon. I mean, it's Dark Ride. I think it's S tier for a reason. I don't. I do hope that they allow it. I do hope that they allow it, right? Mm -hmm. And it has like Willowism and stuff like to mess with people and knock off. So it has options. But I do hope they allow it for uh, like a day or two. Uh, I think yeah. Shaman's uh, like a C tier. Shaman is definitely a C tier. I looked uh, through its move pool and it doesn't really get a lot of new stuff. I, I do think with Terrasalization, it kind of can function the same way as Hidden Power, uh, just giving you the extra coverage. Otherwise, um, it's pretty much as you expect it to be. Nothing that's impressive um, right off the bat. Uh, sea Flare is always nice, though. I mean, yeah, I think Sea Flare is nice. I'll put it like next to my Lodic in terms of like viability. They're like the f same to me, right? Like, I put them yeah, around each other. Yeah, exactly. I think Conk is a B, like a high B. Conk is definitely uh, a B tier for sure. Um, and you know, it's actually one of the few Pokemon that are returning that get defog. So yep. it's really cool. It has uh, good viability. Well. I would even put yeah. it like in, next to Inferno of Infernape in terms of like just because the the tank hit hit hard is better than can't get in and hit ours hard in my opinion. But I'm well, I mean, I'm, I'm actually I'm can't get in versus King Gambit every single time. Fair. No, well, if you're running Willow Wisp, yeah. I mean, excuse me, Slack off, yeah. Um, then where would you put Conk? Because I was thinking like here. Uh, Empoleon. Uh, I put it below Empoleon. Okay, that's fine. I'm yeah. okay with this. These guys are looking worse and worse by the second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. The ogres are all right. Okay. Uh, Livani, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Leave oh, us. Oh, wanna lose? Yes, I do. Wanna lose? Wanna lose? Type of thing. Sorry, yeah. we're not gonna talk about Siki Web. Cool. You know that's why you're above yeah. Ariados. You're wanna fast. Think swords think dance. It does. I think Swana gets defog. Let me double check. Oh yeah, Swana's one of the few that gets defog. Yes, yes, yes. Swana gets defog, so it actually has some viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're correct on that. Swana above uh, Dusk. It is not above Dusk. You put it above Dusk, Wow. I would. I mean, I think utility-wise is cool. I think Furret goes right here. <laughs> oh, my Furrets, no. Don't worry, you'll draft it eventually. <laughs> Mian Shao. Okay, bro. Bro. They gave it Ice Spinner. Wait. They wait. gave Mian Shao. Now, let me tell you guys something. If you play Pokemon Black and White, Mian Shao would have been OU if it had Ice Spinner because it had to run crappy Hidden Power Ice in order uh, to deal with Landers and Gliscor and stuff like that. But if it had Ice yeah. Spinner, which didn't even exist back then, so if it was hacking, it would have been OU. I think Mian Shao is a solid, like, this type of thing, bro. Regenerator can tear. I actually think this guy should move up too. Um, Regenerator, knockoff. Close combat, ice spinner, fake out, Terra Fairy, Terra Blast, com we can't let this on Terra in draft. Like in lower tier draft, we can't. No, no we're definitely not. No, 100% no. Like this mod is it's super good. Um, Regenerator and Reckless, like two amazing abilities. P either power up your high jump kick or should we make F? Up every should, we make, should we make an F tier? So like, uh, so we, we have because we have a lot, or should we just keep it? Because these are all like the same to me. I mean, keep them all in one tier. Yeah, because like, like the way I do it, if I would make these guys all F, and then I put D, and I put like these this row from here to here, and keep these guys C, but we don't you have. You could make an F. Like, what would you put an F? You put like the, the this entire the row, this entire row. But I don't want to. I don't want to do F just to like fix that. But like that's what I do. Nah. I, I, yeah, I think. I mean, we we kind of get the idea like of, of mons that just don't make the cut to C. I think the C mons are, are ones that definitely stand out in terms of value and uh, if, if you go if of... you go from my Lodic up, they're all solid. If yeah. you go from my Lodic up, those are all like I could see them being UU, RUBL type mons. Everything else is like yeah. RU and below in my opinion. Uh, if yeah. I had to go based on tiers. Um Manibuzz is really good dude. Is this a B or is this an actual A in terms of utility? Because it gets defog knockoff, foul play, heavy duty boots obviously Terra, so it can live hits. Brave Bird yeah, for and, Val. And it roosts too, so that's like something Gliscor can't do. Um, is it like a high tier B? Or is it high an High tier B or one below Crawdon? Like, I don't mind it being... Yeah, I like that, I like that, I like that, yep. That I, actually, I actually think it's really good. It being able it's to really default, it like, 
it can't defog on Golden Go in the sense that you can't click it on Golden Go, but like Golden Go is not going to come in on knockoff and stuff. And it being yeah, able to U turn and pivot. It's a mod that can defog that threatens Golden Go. Like, you can switch in Golden Go to block hazards, then what? You have to run like Thunderbolt to You have to run that Gleam set or something like Yeah, like otherwise, that. otherwise yeah. it's not doing much. Trevenant, nice little D tier. Uh, it, it got some it got some buffs it might actually be like around here let me see Trevenant real quick because it, it did get some buffs so it got poltergeist back which is amazing right yeah. um it also has drain punch yeah willow earthquake all the crap at knock off all the stuff i had before <laughs> grassy glide i don't know anything else like i feel like this is like around dust nor level to be honest above above but yeah, I've used Deathmore before, and uh, Deathmore. I mean, it's great if you want if you want to run like a Binding Bend Infestation set for Stallbreaker, but that's about it. Yeah. I think Vikavolt doesn't have roots. Vikavolt's like one of the better uh, sticky web users. There's two sticky web users coming back to back, right? So. But they got rid of um, Roost, bro. Did they? Yeah, it doesn't have Roost. Oh. That hurts its viability a lot. Yeah. Like defensively, mm. Vikavolt could have teared and been extremely good. Hmm. I feel like yeah, them does. getting rid of Roost was a really bad for it, bro. I'd put it below Gligar. Yeah, like I think I think it's the C tier as well. Uh, I think it's a good sticky webber on offense. Like Roost would have been amazing on it with heavy duty boots meta game. It would have actually been amazing on it. Would have been for sure. Um, yeah, because like the recovery that it has, because this mod is like generally. Like, first of all, you have like the levitate and stuff. You have the bulk. You can run like the boot set and like with like webs and things like that and then Roost would have kept you like alive longer but now that it doesn't have that it's definitely um not as uh, valuable anymore like especially like if you're trying to use it in a draft like not having Roost is annoying I kind of want to put Jirachi in A it looks it actually looks good in A like you have but, uh Ninetales, Mamo, Crawdont, Mandibuzz, Jirachi I just I'm thinking about all the ghost and dark types and you and the ground types as well I mean you just Terra yeah, I'll put an A. I'll put an A for here. I actually think Mandibuzz is better as a base mod than Jirachi. Just because Jirachi needs a lot going for it. Mandibuzz just needs to come out. This looks good. I do it. I'll do it like that. Little bomb B. That's a nice C tier. That's a nice C tier that's probably a, like. Um, around well here. that's gonna be your best sticky web user, isn't it? Best sticky web user, which is why I think it's C. Also has Quiver Dance plus Terra now, which actually makes it an offensive threat. I think it's gonna be in the same tier as these guys, like RU, N U B L type thing. Maybe here. Pre-evolution of Rabombi. Who are you thinking? Wait a second. What's the pre-evolution of Rabombi? Uh, Q to fly. Forgot that Mon existed. <laughs> yeah, it gets sticky with. I just think it's be like like a C type of thing. I actually think we're rating losing a little bit too low. I don't. I, don't, I think Rabombi should definitely be. Um, it should be above these guys. No, hundred percent. I think it's actually above Shaman, bro. Damn. Think about it like this. Oh, above my level, nine tails is that high because of the fact that it can veil for everything else. Oh yeah, zombie is like this, this is some yeah, this is something yeah. We'll use that no you. You're 100 right. You're right. You're right. We're using no you, and also got like stored power now as well. And I think Terra just actually pushes offensive sets really far, like yep. really far. Uh, you're right. I'll put it there. I'll put it there. I, I agree with that. Como is an A tier Pokemon for sure. Como is yes. It's Clang gonna be really good. I put, I put it, like, it above Crowdon. Yeah, no, that's the thinking exactly. Like this? Or you said above Mammal? Uh, above Karnam, below Mammal's one. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like with Terra plus Boom Burst is really strong for the Terra normal. Um, the fact that it can, it's Como. <laughs> like it being able to come back, set up, has SD Scale Shot. I think SD Scale Shot's very scary with Terra because it's already it bulky is. enough as it is, right? So like, it's super bulky. They actually made this mod so much better too with Terra. They made a lot of mods so much better with Terra as well. It gets Vacuum Wave now if you didn't know. Um, but like belly Ooh, jump scale shot, yeah, yeah. Iron defense body oh, press sets dude. are obviously really nice too. Yeah, like toy specs promo with vacuum wave, like having that is really cool. Um, just spamming a uh, clangers or whatever. And um, bro, like the belly drum sets with this thing and Terra is gonna be actually insane. insane. Actually insane. With, like a little nine tails veil. And... Yeah, bro. I don't say like gonna these really ones are gonna. Terra. These ones are gonna love the freaking veil mod. I'm excited about that. Yeah. That mod's good. That mod's real good. Even webs, bro. Even webs plus that, like Rabami plus that, is actually really good too. Agreed, agreed, completely agreed. Um, Krem ramp, what a D tier. It's a D fogger. Yeah, it's a D fogger. I'd actually it? put it above Spawn. I was about to say, do we, are we gonna put it with the D fogger? Yeah. 
We'll put two it right there together. in the default. We're each other too, kind of. Yeah. You know that Morpico got buffed? Uh, I've heard something about it. What was the actual buff? It like, got, it got, buff? it got knockoff now. Which is pretty cool, and obviously, oh. yeah, so knockoff is really cool for a oh, set. Knockoff. It also has access to the baton pass, but even though you already have your um, your parting shot, which I think is pretty cool, foul, you know, standard foul play that I already had before. Um, yeah. Oh, also, it's animation in game now. When it's in, when it's in yeah, uh, it, it, hangry, it, it, it takes out a little snack out of its pouch and eats it to get better. So no, that I know. animated buff. Aura wheel was one of the best moves in the game. Strong as hell and raises your speed every turn, every time you use it. Like, are you actually kidding me? Insane yeah. one. So cool. I would put it above wheezing. You think it's that high? Uh, I I think I was I was hyping it up, but I was hyping it up to be the king of D. Like D or above Vika Volts. All right, I'll put it above Vika Volt. I, I actually cool. think it's still D tier. All right, Ursa Luna Blood Moon. What you think, bro? Dude, that is crazy, bro. Dude, imagine if I had Ursa Luna in the draft league that we were in, and then I used I had recovery with Moonlight. I had um, priority, like a physical priority. Oh yeah, it, it, gets, it, gets, it gets moonlight as a move reminder, right? Yeah, it gets moonlight. Yep, it's exactly. it has combat. It's a special attacker, so it has its special move is basically boom burst. Except blood moon, make, it's like gig impact. Uh, gig impact. It basically makes you wait a turn. You can't spam it, which is it's yeah, like, uh, strictly worse. The crazy thing is like spawn like Ursa Luna and and this one as well have like pretty similar defensive wise stats in terms of high defense, low spit F, mm -hmm. uh, low ish. Spit F. And, um, you know, this one now has a higher special attack than attack, which Ursa Luna, regular Ursa Luna has, a higher attack stat. And now with Calm Mind, you boost your special attack, which is your highest, most powerful stat. And your Spit F, which means that you're actually getting bulkier on both sides and having solid recovery as well. I, dude, this is going to be a really... I think it's going to be a good mod, but it's going to be... Um, I think it's B. I think it's, gonna, it's B? I think it's not going to suffer from Ursa Luna's fate of dying from Flame Warp, so it's UU, so it kills itself. But I don't think it's so broken that it's gonna win all, every game by itself. I do think that com what is it? The ability makes it have no immunity. Is ignores. Yeah, for boom burst. Yeah, but you can't click that move more than once, right? So, for instance, like what are you using? Calm mind, earth power, roost, and what your your blood moon? Like that's it. Blood moon. Yes. Okay. So I go Corviknight. I take seventy. I roost. You can't hit me next turn. Until <laughs> like you know what I mean. Like it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit. It doesn't have coverage, right? It doesn't have thunderbolt. That's thunder punch. Right? They didn't give it thunderbolt. They didn't give it fire, uh, flamethrower. They didn't give it ice beam. They gave it the elemental punches because it'd be too much. Like they had, they gave it bask. They gave it the other guys thing. I do think it's gonna be good. Do not get me wrong. I think earth power plus blood moon is gonna be solid. I don't think it's an A tier threat at all. I don't think it's better than 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 Gliscor. I don't think it's better than Monkey Dory. I think it's like looking, yeah, looking through its special move. It has nothing. It has, it has earth power and blood move. I still have more physical attacks than special attacks. That, bro, bro, I can at. I can name every single special. I'm gonna go through their entire list of special attacks just because there's so little I can name them. All right. Yeah. Snore, earth power, blood moon, moon blast. Do do do. Still looking. Mud shot. Do do do. Swift. Do do do. Still looking. Still looking. Oh, look at all these nice physical moves that this mon. Hyper voice. I guess Combine Hyper Voice could be pretty cool, but it's, uh, you know, it's inherently weaker than Blood Moon, obviously. Focus Blast, which is pretty cool, but you have Earth Power. Terra Blast, obviously, which can be stabbed, but then change to something else in Vacuum Wave and Uproar. Like, it's, it's like, I think it's going to be a solid, I think it's a solid B tier. I think it's a B tier. I don't think it's A. I think it's strong, and I think with Specs, it's really strong, too, and you get, like, your little nuke, but, like, and it is stronger than Toxicity with Terra Normal. I believe Boom Burst with Punk Rock, I believe it is stronger. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, I don't think it's A tier at all. I don't think it's... I, I think it's in the middle of B. Like, Maybe seriously. you're right. Maybe you're right. Does it have, like, a... It doesn't have Iron Defense or anything, right? No, 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 no. It doesn't get Body Press. Um, doesn't get... Uh, well, it has... Uh, uh, it has... What is it? Harden? <laughs> I don't see bulk up in its move for... Why did you say Harden? <laughs> well, it boosts defense. Do you even see Harden? I don't even see Harden. Yeah, it learns it at uh, level 17. Wow, what a great Pokemon. All right, so use Harden. <laughs> yeah, nice job. <laughs> anyway, where would you put it in B, though? Because I do think it's a middle B tier Pokemon. Uh, in terms of uh, B tier, mm, Blood Moon, I'd put below Como. -O. That's A. Sorry, I'm not looking in there. I'm, I think I would put it below... I would put it above Conk. Mm-hmm. 
That's what I'm thinking too. Like I feel like it's like above the starters just barely. I feel like it's between these guys in terms of viability. It's hard to think like about this mon specifically, but I don't like I could see it here. Well, think... here's okay. So here's the thing. Uh, let, let's. I mean, in draft league, we're not gonna let this thing terror. But let's let's say for uh, for example, like with translation terror blast, right? If, if terror blast is your coverage and you can run your normal plus any coverage you want, or you can run like you know you can run something like that. Blood blood moon is what normal typing, right? I think. Yeah, it's ground normal, same as Ursaluna. I don't honestly put it like around where Clef is. Okay, I'll put it next to Clef. I'll put it with Clef. There you go. That's fine. Yeah, I, I think this is that's fair. Yeah, I think it's all right. Like, I think it's all right. Like, I legitimately think it's all right. <laughs> I, I can't say much more. I actually also think Empoleon's better than Infernic. Thank you. I think you can fit more Mons on the team for Empoleon. Like, it, it's easier to fit Empoleon on a team than Infernic, in my opinion. But yeah, I think, yeah. It's, I think it's gonna be all right. I don't think it's gonna be bad. I think Under Veil will be scary, too. Obviously, you know, you can become a Fairy type as well and stuff like that, too, if you want. Or you can become a Ghost type in Wall, Corviknight. I just think it's, it's, it's all right. I don't think it's broken. I think it's all right. However... Manaphy, let's use you. All right, next S rank. Ooh, we're gonna go. Yep, this is definitely Manaphy. S rank, and I think I, I put it above Darkrai, bro. I had 100% put this Mon above Darkrai. You know what? I agree with you. And then let me, let's talk about why. Yeah. So yeah. this Pokemon still has access to Tail Glow, right? So it still has Tail Glow, and Tail Glow with Terra, that's all you need. You can run Bulk, you can run Veil, you can do anything you really want from there, right? But Tail Glow, your Dazzling Gleam, your Surf, and then your 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 coverage move with your psychic energy ball ice beam. You don't need ice beam if you have dazzling gleam, especially because you're in a terra fairy on this mon, right? You don't really need all that. But Envy, why don't you talk about the move that I got from Legends Arceus that it still has in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Indeed, indeed. So the move is called Take Heart, and what this move does is think about Calm Mind, think about Refresh or Heal Bell or whatever you like, or not probably well, Refresh. Refresh, is a better example. yeah, same. Yep, same heals, yep. And now stick it together. You will be boosting your special attack and special defense by one stage and healing the status, stage. man. Like what the hell? At the same time, yes, indeed. Um, so that makes it crazy because like you, you think about it, right? You don't have to run like you can. You don't have to run Rain Dance sets if you want to use hydration or whatever. You just use that move and you can't get status at all. So you could even run like Tail Glow plus Take Heart even if you wanted to Literally. to like remove status and then two attacks uh, and then boost yourself even further. Yeah, it's that's just, um, so freaking good, dude. It's so freaking it's good. It's so good. It's so good. And I mean, yeah, of course, you have utility options on this thing too with Knock Off and Heart U-turn. Swap. And yeah. U-turn. It also gets Flip Turn, I'm pretty sure. Did it get Flip Turn this generation uh, too? It's pretty cool. Let me double check here. Uh, Mana Feed. It does. Can I see it does on the act- Yeah. It does indeed Flip Turn. So, I mean, you have a lot of great coverage too, right? You know, your usual, like, Ice Beam, Psychic, Energy Ball, like, the stuff that you'd usually run, Dazzling Gleam as well. Um, and, yeah, now you have this new move that can just... Baton Pass as well, stuff. if you don't want to touch, yeah. in, depending Ooh. on tier. Like, the, dude, like, what are you doing, man? If he, it got Stored Power too, by the way. It actually has Stored Power? Okay, that's that's crazy. Because, yeah. like, you, you combine the, like, the Tail or whatever with the, with the Take Heart and then Stored Power. Yeah, like, so literally, good. why would I, I... I would use literally that plus, like, Surf. Like, I, there's no other... There's no reason yeah. why I would it. But yeah, it, but Thrasolate as well makes it incredible. Yeah, it is going to be a nice and powerful S rank. If they allow it, it will be banned. Um, it, this, I think this mod would get banned from OU, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure. It would sure get banned from OU. It's too bulky with Terra. Terra pushes yeah. it over the edge. It's it's good without Terra. Like, it's just good without Terra, but Terra pushes it over the edge. It's and, like a new Magearna kind of. Legit, legit type of thing almost. Uh, and then also they gave Fione a slight buff because it has Take Heart too. So Fione, if you guys didn't know, did not have access to Combine or anything. It really didn't have anything. But now, have any setup move at all. Yeah. Now it has uh, now it has take heart, so he has the calm mind plus that boost. Um, it can go for flip turn or knock off. Like it could just do cool things. And, it, and instead of being like a like in DVP, it was a support Pokemon with rain dance and U turn. That was basically it. But now it can be a nice and solid little baby right here. Yeah, bro. No baby has to be higher. Why? Come on. Oh yeah, I, I looked I looked away. I thought you put it in D by instinct. What? I put it in, like nice baby. Right I put like, the baby oh. right there, bro. I think that's <laughs> decent. That's good. that's good. No, that's fire. Um, I'm just like I love this mon. Chimeco forgetting this move because it has heal bell. Hmm? Chimeco goes over Mighty Anna has heal bell. Uh, no, but Mighty Anna can no have no punch. no yeah, good good job. It could have sucker punch. Aerie does have sucker punch too. What are you what are you trying to say? Yeah, I mean stab. Yeah, get out of here. Listen, Fion, I'm super excited for it because before it was a Pokemon that nobody even used or remembered or everyone forgot about that Mon, right? Because it didn't get set up. Mm-hmm. It was just a little baby shadow of Manaphy. But now 
it can actually set up and not get status and stuff too. Good utility, as same same as Manaphy, pretty much. Yep. Ah. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm, I like our tier list. I do think Vikable and Borpico could probably move down slightly to D. And I'm probably Maybe. being very biased on Torterra, but I'm very excited about Shot Smash plus Terra itself in the lower tiers. Guys, what are your Put thoughts? Your bro. Yeah, dude, it's so sick, man. Guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Did we did we forget a Pokemon that came back? By the way, we might have, um, but hopefully I did it. But uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoy. Please subscribe to Envy if you did enjoy this. Leave a like. Let us know yours down below. If you got this far, say Monkey Dory. If you got to 30, you say Okie Dogie. But if you got to this far, you say Monkey Dory down below. We'll see you on the next one. Sub the Envy, sub the me. Peace, guys. Peace.